Hello, folks. Welcome to Nate Land. I'm Nate Bargetzi, Brian Bates, Aaron Weber. Uh, we'd like to say no big deal, but the truth is the little things that can really add up and ignoring emotions only get you so far. Needing help doesn't mean something's wrong with you. It means your human talk space is here for you. Match with the licensed therapist when you go to talkspace.com. Get $100 off your first month with the promo code Nate. That is $100 off when you use Nate at talkspace.com. Also, it's time to uh, get some uh, summer wear. But uh, by, by some time this summer with the black, I've read that wrong. <laughs> Uh, Mac Welton Daily Wear System. I love Mac Welton. I actually I have Mac Welton. For 20% off your first order, visit MacWeldon.com slash Nate and enter promo code Nate. That's MacWeldon.com slash Nate, promo code Nate for 20% off. Mac Weldon, radically efficient wardrobing. And also, you know DraftKings is the official daily fantasy partner of the NFL, and now is the time to get in on the action. Download the DraftKings app and enter code Nate Land. This week, new customers get a free shot at the $1 million top prize and compete for millions in prizes across all contests. You get a minimum or minimum $5 deposit required. That is code NATELAND on the DraftKings app for a free shot at a $1 million. Sports is all starting right now, so make sure you do that. Welcome, everybody. Uh, Got my fantasy draft tonight. Fantasy draft tonight. Longest running, right? It's been going. 26 years. 26 years. For the internet. Do you know that? We've talked about that on here. Yeah, yeah. It's just crazy to hear that out loud. 26 years you've been doing this. Yeah. We, uh, I'm in a... Have you won it ever? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. A, couple... I mean, just, yeah, a couple people died. <laughs> uh, they, has anybody died? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's oh, one of those. Our very first champion yeah. oh, has died. Oh, bless his heart. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's one of those things that you're like, it's a different group now. Uh. <laughs> I like the ones that are like that, where you guys. I mean, I'm in a uh, with Ronnie Bargetti, my cousin. Uh, we're in a golf fantasy, and they've been doing it. This is my first year doing it, but they've been doing it for 30. So everybody in it's my, Ronnie's age. You're all like in their 70s, wow. and so everybody's been doing it for uh, thir- like 30 something years, and uh, it's great because you just do one draft and then you don't do anything else, and then he just t- t- tallies up the score. Yeah, and so it's pretty fun. Uh, cause it's like, I, I was supposed to do one this year and I, I, I said, no, I, I just, it's too much. I get that. Like I would have done, like I was in one a long time ago with some friends, Michael, yeah. uh, Clay, who we moved, uh, started comedy with. And like, I liked it. I was like, you know, uh, we knew everybody. I enjoyed it cause yeah. it was like close. And then it started getting a little spread out where you mm-hmm. kind of be in it. And you're like, I don't even know. I know like three of the people. Yeah. And then you're just like, I just have no. I don't have the time to pay attention to it, uh, and it's just a lot. But I, I get doing one like that. But you were almost kicked out of it. Yeah, I was. When I, it's a my former uh, job. T- I don't TV know, you station. look at him when you. <laughs> you know, when I, I, I throw, I say the question to you, and you go to him like he's. I know. Well, because you know the you it's know like what a talk show huh? <laughs> like. Well, it's because that I, how that works when they do it, and they go like, Brian, uh, you were once kicked out of. It. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> It's like Kramer. Yeah. I'll ask the questions. Yeah. He asked the, the exact same question. <laughs> <laughs> so you and Elaine dated. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, because you know what I'm talking about. That's so why I'm so telling him. I didn't know. When I worked at the TV station, that's where we started the Fantasy League draft. Okay. And then when I left there six years ago, they were almost going to kick me out. But uh, you, you know, talked your way in. I, he yeah. teamed up yeah. with someone that stayed. Now, that guy leaves. They're in big trouble. <laughs> yeah. All right, listen, I'm already 22 years into this, man. Isn't the, the guy you're with is the the Emmy story, right? Mm-hmm. The, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which we told that on here. Mm-hmm. My favorite story. Yep. The guy so. won Emmy. He had two chances, and then the other two people tied. <laughs> and the other two people won. And he was the only that. one that lost. <laughs> about Out that. of the three people nominated, <laughs> he was the only one that lost. The other two guys won, and he was nominated twice. That's so, I mean, it's unreal. <laughs> it was four, yeah, four, yeah. four nominations. He was two, was two of them. <laughs> And then there was a tie, yeah. And it was the tie was the other two, <laughs> and so he just loses. I mean, it's the odds are unreal. Yeah. It's unreal. Yeah, we talked about the odds yeah. on here. Yeah, it's great. It's great. All right, everybody. Uh, if you guys saw the poll, no, we, no. <laughs> we we didn't do the poll. Someone asked. We only had like one person ask, though, right? Or a couple people. Maybe waited. a couple people. They missed yeah. that we said we're not doing it. Yeah, we talked ourselves out of the poll. It is. It is. We're we we can be. We're moving on. I think everybody was like, all right, we get it. 
I like where it's at. Hello, folks. If you're in the wild, you're able to respond. Let's go, folks. Let's go, folks. It's a very, it's a fun thing to yell at each other when we're out. Yeah. Like, I mean, don't yell at it at all of our shows the whole time. But <laughs> it is funny when you, I, I do enjoy it when I walk out. If yeah. someone does a let's go, folks, that's almost like a perfect, that's almost perfect at a show. Yeah. But they do it because they do it great where they just yell it and it's like, all right, we it's out of the way. It, out of the way. We know people are there. And then, uh, so I like what it is. Hello, folks, is how we will introduce and then uh but let's go folks i know there's let's go folks uh instagram right mm-hmm. yeah so there you go mm-hmm. we were uh it's point i stayed outside zany's the other night and some guy drove out yelled let's go <laughs> yeah yeah but then i, I realized mean, people, i was, I was I, staying in the street uh we played uh i golfed yesterday uh at bell mead golf court never been there it's like uh and uh john augustine our guy john course record he yesterday, there. yeah, I've seen him set two course records. Yeah, you just told me about Governor's one. Club. He shot a sixty-two. They didn't give it to him at Governor's Club. Why it's not? Crazy. I don't know. They the guy goes because we, we, we walked in. We go, what's the course record? And he was like, I think it's like sixty-four or something. And we said, oh well, now it's sixty-two because sh- he shot a sixty-two. Which well, John's a professional golfer. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's not insane for. It's not like me walking in going, yeah, well, <laughs> you know. And the guy's like, ah, you got to do it competitively or something doesn't make sense that's uh-huh. not how it works and then bell mead exact opposite they're thrilled about it mm-hmm. and they love it and uh and it, i think he shot a 65 because they just they moved the t's back he had two like i mean he chipped in the first hole uh like a 45 50 yard knocked it in the hole Gosh. Uh, for eagle and then on a par four probably like a hundred and yard 100 yard shot just like go beep beep and then dropped in <sighs> And it's crazy. And he had, I mean, dude, he had, I think, uh, two three putts and three bogeys yeah. and shot a 65. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. That's amazing. It's pretty wild. Uh, so uh, We're as, playing today. Well, Brian and I are playing oh, yeah. later today. Don't expect any course records out there. But. No, He's wearing no. that out there. I just, if y'all finish, I'll be happy. <laughs> uh, nine holes. Kids will be out there. God, they see y'all two walk out there. And they. <laughs> His camouflage. Yeah, they just look. It's like, I just see a caretaker. You come out and you. <laughs> See a head floating out yeah. there. Yeah, you got you wearing the jacket. Jacket fits good. It does. Have fit. you wore it out? No, it's first just time here. wearing it, yeah. man. It looks good. It feels good. It feels powerful. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you do. If you feel power with that, I do. Over just a dumb as much deer. as I'm gonna get. Yeah, as, over deer. That's, over deer. That's not nothing. That's an, yeah, something. Deer are everywhere. When you see them, they don't come. They don't run in front of your car. They don't even look at me, dude. I saw a deer get hit the other day, and it was. Uh, I didn't see it, but it was laying in front of this these people's driveway, and I was like, "Man, that's the worst." Yeah. Like, what do you do when you hit a deer? You got to call somebody, the police or something. Well, I mean, if there's damage. No, but I mean, like when it's you like call somebody the and they come and get it. Someone I don't, comes and gets I don't it. think you have to take you know care who you of call? it. Call. No, I don't yeah. know who I would call. One eight hundred deer. I think it's animal control. Oh. I thought it was like the highway incident response. I guess it depends where you're yeah. at. We have a ton of deer in our neighborhood and squirrels. There's always yeah. some dead animal out in our front. Y'all call them for a dead squirrel in the yard? My- and they're like, and the guy's like, just drive over it in the middle, <laughs> dude. Like, why are you? I'm not coming out there. Ruth calls like once a week. Yeah. <laughs> Come and scoop these things up. There's that many? I mean, there's a bunch. Scoop yeah. them up like with a shovel? Like you just. Well, I was joking about the scoop up. I don't know okay. how they pick them up, yeah, but yeah. she's like. But there's on. that many that you have to call, which is very funny. Yeah, that you're just like it's just you know you're just like weirdly boom boom boom. There's boom, always boom, 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 when boom, I take boom. my dog for a walk. There's always some carcass we're having to yeah. maneuver yeah. around. We had in my old neighborhood. We had a dead possum in the middle of the road for probably a month. Nobody, <laughs> nobody, nobody wanted it. Yeah. It was like it's not mine. You know, yeah. like yeah. nobody wanted to take credit for it. That's tough. That's a tough part of the neighborhood. You got to hope when you move in the neighborhood, you got someone that's like a go getter, and that person should be rewarded. Mm-hmm. Like you should like acknowledge. That person should be you. Yeah. You have that jacket because everybody, you, well, you show up with that jacket. Now I'd have to if I should walk with this jacket. Well, he'll yeah. get it. Dude. He'll scoop up that possum. Yeah. He'll probably eat it. They, you know, I think that's what they would honestly think. They would just, they would see, <laughs> they would see you with that jacket and then they go, golly, I guess he's got, someone's got dinner tonight. Aaron's got takeout. Uh, where is he he's going out? He, they shoot, you're just out there with that shovel <laughs> pulling enough out of the. <laughs> Honey, Take I'm it. home. Anybody else want this? <laughs> Lucy? Am I frying this up for Get me? Get in on this. <laughs> Fried it up. Daniel York. Yorkie. 
Uh, I have to say this is my favorite episode of an already fantastic show. You could do every episode with just comments. The tangents you go on are ridiculous, and it gives us all folks a chance to be part of the conversation with Nate, Aaron, and Banana Hammock. It's great. <laughs> it's great to feel like I'm part of such a cool niche community. Niche? Niche. Niche. It's niche, right? That's one of those I hear it said both ways. Niche. And we all community. know what we're talking about. I thought it was niche. Okay. I didn't know. I would, I would rather say niche. I didn't know people did that. Mm -hmm. I'd say niche. I think they both work, man. Oh, I think you're both doing I great. I, would be, I thought that was one of the words is trying to an olive branch to the to the English speakers of the world. It's very mature. Of I you. walk in, yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm walking to an art gallery and go, wow, this is a very niche painting. <laughs> this is niche. It's pretty niche in here, huh? <laughs> Leslie Dewberry. My wife and I have been nomads since Hurricane Ida hit. Normally, the drive from New Orleans My to My family Ch and I. Oh. I think Leslie's a woman. Oh, okay. My family and I have been nomads since Hurricane Ida hit. Normally, the drive from New Orleans to Chattanooga would be around seven hours, but with thousands of other folks evacuating as well, it took us 14 hours to finally make it there. We've been hotel hopping since then, trying to find something stable through the already booked Labor Day weekend, the Nate Land Podcast has helped me and my two girls keep a shred of sanity and, for the most part, positive attitudes during those long car rides. And we even learned random facts along the way. Please wish us luck and keep us in your prayers as we navigate our next steps. Thank you for not taking life too seriously and sharing laughs. My whole family loves you guys. We really look forward to one day see, seeing you in a – it says seating – seeing you in person at a show seeding you we're gonna seed you uh leslie we will prayers up for you guys that's i mean that's brutal uh that's tough 14 hours man mm -hmm. everybody's leaving that's a you know that's a long drive yeah, yeah. and then your end goal is chattanooga <laughs> uh not saying anything bad about Chattanooga, but if it was the other way around, you'd be like, all right, well, it was worth it. Chattanooga, New Orleans. So going, at least now we're in New Orleans. At least now we're in New Orleans. It's fun. And you're like, Chattanooga. You're like, all right, let's go look at the aquarium, Unreal Aquarium, and then uh, a couple other things, and then we're done. Let's go. Let's get on back at it. Well, I tell you, once you get there, you're both basically like, all right, let's head back. Mm -hmm. Be good out there, guys. Be safe. Uh, towel under the door. My date with the president's daughter is an absolute classic starring Will Friedel, who also played Eric on Boys Meets World. Keep up the great stuff. Aaron Land is my favorite podcast. I've turned a lot of folks onto it. Oh, Aaron Land. It's got some listeners. That's great. It's got to be tough if you're an Aaron Land fan, but you're not really into Nate Land. I, I mean, they guy. get through it. Yeah. You all recognize this guy? Uh, Yeah. I think Boy sure. Meets World was a little bit after. I do. It was after y'all's time, right? I do the old way, not the new way. I bet he's a guy that now, when you look at him, if you see him now, you would just stare at him and be like, how do I know? Like, you know. Are you he, saying younger and older? Yeah, like the, the, young, the, one, the one with the that long way? hair is like, oh, you're like, this yeah, guy, yeah, that this guy, guy there, right, you're right, like, right. yeah, yeah, know exactly who he is. But then you look at him, that picture on the left, like the older one, you would be like, you might, like, I bet so many people are like, golly, dude. Can't put my finger on it, but Where, I know that guy. you graduate? Yeah. You know, it's like a lot of that. <laughs> And he's like, I mean, I'm one of the most famous shows on. He, he's one of the most famous shows ever on television. Yeah. And all he gets now is, what year did you graduate high school? <laughs> Were you in my grade? Like, that's all people think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he goes, no, nah, I was on uh, Boy Meets World. We won an Oscar for it. Uh, Mark Maxwell. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wherefore out thou, Romeo? Though? Art though. Wherefore wow. art thou, Romeo? Means... Why are you Romeo? It's literally meaning is that Juliet is agonized to think that Romeo is a house of Montague. Is it Montague? <laughs> Montague. Huh? Montague. That feels like you're making that up. No, it's the it's Capulets Montague. of the Montague. It's Montagues. They're rivaling families. Oh. She agonized to think mm -hmm. that Romeo is house of Montague and painfully wishes him to have been from some other family. Aaron Land going strong. Mm. I don't even understand that sentence. Any of it. I don't think well, I could I don't think I could talk to Mark Maxwell. I think we would be we'd have trouble. <laughs> I think he would end up our night would end up, he would just throw popcorn in my mouth and I would catch <laughs> it and he would think we would both be like, I guess this is all we can really do to each other. <laughs> like we can't have a conversation. So he would just be me sitting over there and uh, he's like just throwing popcorn. I'm just trying to catch it. And then I go, All right, man. 
<laughs> well, he said, wherefore art thou Romeo means why are you Romeo? But you just read it just now. Why are you Romeo? <laughs> Which kind of changes the meaning of it. So, why, why are I Romeo? Why are you Romeo? Why are you Romeo? Why are you Romeo? Yeah. Like, so you're mad that why are you Why are Romeo? you in this family that I'm not allowed yeah. to talk to? Such a ridiculous question, though. I mean, an insane, like, what if Romeo just said- It's a rhetorical question. He's not literally going, why are you- Oh, uh, that was him asking that? No, no, no. no Sorry. That's, she, yeah, it's her asking. Okay. So then his supposedly, Romeo, get a little heads up. Your wife's going to be a nutso because <laughs> she's, she's questioning, you don't want to be in that marriage. You don't want to be in a marriage. She's already going, why do you have to be born in the family you're born? You're like, I'm born. We're, already, that's, we're past the point of that. Yeah. There's no more like, all right, I'm sorry. Like, I mean, he's acting like like uh he had a choice. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think she brought it up after they got married and had a couple of kids. I know. I think he got the heads up and said, Hey, what if we just both kill ourselves? <laughs> that would be easier than getting married. Cause he, this this questioning is driving me insane. He faked his death to get out of it. He did. He's doing fine. We see a picture of him and Tupac together. <laughs> Uh, Drew Meaden, Meaden, on the on the topic of Cliff's notes, my older brother and I had a little business when we were in college together. We could, we would find out which classes allowed note cards during exams, check which chapters would be covered in the exams, and then hand write entire chapters on five eight note cards. I could fit three to four lines of text within one line of on the card. We'd then sc scan and print copies of the note cards and sell them to other students. I never went hungry at that school. It's a pretty good idea. See, I <clears throat> we have the lawnmowers. Uh, I uh, I can hear. I don't know if y'all can hear them. I heard a lawnmowers. little bit, a little bit. Uh, but I like that kind of thing to me. But that with that what he did mm -hmm. is like better than school. Like weird. Like weirdly, you go the fact that you guys figured that out and then sold it. I bet you're doing better than even if you'd be like, well, they cheated on the test. You're like, it doesn't even really matter. Mm -hmm. Not saying you want kids to cheat, but it's like the it's, idea. It's not cheating, though. It's the, I mean, it is exactly cheating. You're writing down, you're not taking the exam. You're writing down the chapters on the note card. Yeah, but they allow you a note card during the exam. They're just giving people the note card. Yeah, but cards. they don't give the note card going like, you guys swear you're not going to be writing down all the chapters. I don't think the teacher would be thrilled we about it. We used to put a lot on those note cards. We had classes like that. I'd write so I much don't know on if it. I ever had a note card. And they're like math, for like a math exam. You can write, you get one note card, you can write down formulas, put whatever you want on there, but that's all you can reference. Oh, that's your only help? Yeah. Oh. So instead of like an open book yeah. exam, still good. you just get a note card. But yeah, I, I, I love the way like they it. did this. Before you bold, you just looked at your note card. Oh, yeah. You strike. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they, uh, for bowling class. Got another X. Golly, dude. <laughs> I can't catch a break. No, it's good. Oh, that's good. You know, you'd be good at this because I've seen your set list. You, mm. You're very good at writing very small. Yeah, yeah. And that's what you, you got to be able to write legible, but very tiny. I'd be great at cheating. Uh, yeah, I don't think I ever did any of this stuff. This could be why I had trouble in school. That or the dyslexia uh, that we still haven't figured out. I got to go to that school. What if, dude, if I figure it out, I do. If they're like, you have it. That would make mo so much sense. Mm -hmm. Would it change anything at this point? Huh? No, it's like, Romeo, I'm already too far. It's like, what do you want me to do? We already made it this far. I'm not going, can you fix it? I don't think you can fix it. Someone asked that you not do it. They're like, they, they think that's your secret genius, oh. funny, and don't ruin it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What would, if I found out I was. You got fixed? I don't think they can You're fix a, you. They a boring don't, guy. You just hit me in the head with a bat. <laughs> I walk out of there like, wherefore art thou Romeo? And I go, that makes sense now. <laughs> You ever see the episode of House with Dave Matthews? No. Yeah. yeah. Was it, when did it air? During West Wing? <laughs> different you, era. Different were you era. Driving of television. when you watched it, Dave Matthews plays a uh, a young man who has a head injury, but he's a piano savant. Mm -hmm. He's like unbelievable at piano, and they fix his brain, but that he loses his ability to play piano in the process. So his dad is like struggling. Do I fix his brain and he'll be able to like button his shirt up now, but he won't be able to play the piano anymore? I think that's kind of the same dilemma. Yeah. That happened yeah. to George Costanza when he had sex. Yeah. It's a clean podcast, bro. Oh, uh, Janine Ashcraft. I totally agree with movies not sticking. 
I was so excited when the movie Boston Strangler was going to be on TV. I mean, that's a hilarious movie. To <laughs> <laughs> I planned my whole evening around it. Then in the first five minutes, I realized I had already seen it. I wish I'd either, I'd either remembered the movie or not. Then it would be new every time. What Boston Strangler movie? I looked it up. It was from 1968. Oh. <laughs> so Janine might be more my era. <laughs> yeah. I get it. I need to go watch this Boston Strangler I mean, the fact movie. that you're... With Henry Fonda? I guess. The fact that you're waiting, planning your whole evening around watching something on TV probably means it's from a yeah. bygone era. Yeah, yeah. No TV. Which I loved. I yeah. love. I mean, there's nothing better than waiting. Wait, like, you have to wait for everything. That's something that kids are, they, they don't, that's gone and that I wish they had waiting. You have to wait for everything. Can't wait till sport sporting events is like it now. Yeah. Yeah. On TV. But then you're like, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to record them. I'll go do, I'll go have a day. Don't tell me what happened. I'll just watch and fast forward, you know, and watch a game quick. Cameron Clark. I think Nate blew Aaron's mind a little bit when he asked why he even used a bank. If he was negative $8, that laugh was the laugh of realization. It was. It was, yeah. yeah. I'm a little. I'm better than negative eight now, so yeah. now I have a reason for a negative bank. Negative two. <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, here he comes, big spinny walking with that jacket. <laughs> check his ID. That's all you hear. <laughs> you know, a check cashier place is not called a bank. That's where you don't think you're going. <laughs> where do you bank at? Advanced Financial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And let me ask you something: Is your bank open 24 hours? <laughs> <laughs> you just keep giving the check cashier's money and you leave and they're like this guy i don't know <laughs> we just keep getting money from him. just a kroger atm yeah. john armstrong listening to aaron's story about ripping the gas pump out and then casually putting it back there's no way there wasn't more significant damage and whoever the poor sap was who pumped there after aaron probably had gas spilling out all over his car very true nah i checked on it you stayed? No, I did didn't. Did you watch it? Yeah. <laughs> I felt good about it. You didn't like pull to like a, the next door business and just sit like a private detective and just kind of watch what's going on? <laughs> pull around the corner and yeah. just wait? Yeah. No, I didn't do that. I had, to, had somewhere to be. <laughs> but That's true. I think John's clearly. right. I think the other person's like sitting there, God, dang, God. <laughs> and then he's like, I don't know how this thing. He's like breaking bad. He goes, and the pump was when he's trying to. He goes, in the nozzle, the click, click, click. I should sue that place. I should sue that place is what I should do. Aaron, are you uh, in a little bit above your head with something that you want to tell us? That's what we think it is. Uh, You know what? That makes a lot of sense. William Roberts, don't get me wrong. I love the constant banner between the three of them. The three of them. (laughs) However, it was cool to see Nate's genuine excitement listen to Aaron and Bartleby experience shooting a TV show that will actually be aired. Keep up the good work, gentlemen. All right. That started off where I was like, oh, boy. And then it was very sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, have you talked to Greg? Uh, a little bit. Did he say anything how we did? Uh, he said that uh, y'all did. He said, I did text him. He said, y'all did great. Ooh, yeah. He said, good. y'all did great. That's I don't think good. you're beyond, but you did great. Uh, oh. They're going a different direction. <laughs> With my character. Yeah. Your character. They were like, I don't know. They look too real. Uh, Scare children. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> It's supposed to be a comedy. Yeah. Good night. What's it's Boston what's Strangler here? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Colby Goller, her. Golly, her. That's what it's G O L L I H E. Golly, her. Golly, her. Colby, golly, her. Get in here. Dad Gummit. Dad Gummit. Middle name Dead Gummit. Colby, Dead Gummit. Golly, her. Aaron said, that's fair to Nate change versus dollar bills argument. Like it's actually made any sense at all. <laughs> in change, we have ones, fives, tens, 25s, and the rare 50s and dollars. In bills, we most, we most often use ones, fives, tens, 20s, 50s, and 100s. Why would that, why would they not be the same? Mm-hmm. That was my point. Yeah. He's saying your argument, Nate, or Colby, or maybe she, I don't know. Didn't add up. I feel like it was the price of stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I think 20s make more sense. I don't know. Y'all go change it. I don't know. You and Colby, y'all get together. Do your own $25 bills. I don't know. What do I care? Y'all can both. You can be on the front, Colby on the back. Robert Hardy. Hart. When we were in high school and had $0, my friend came up with a brilliant scheme. 
The bank and the grocery store offered $60 to open an account, so we all stood in line and opened an account, promptly asked to pull out the $60, then asked to please close the account. I don't know what they were thinking, but I was $60 richer. That's so funny. <laughs> I mean, that had to be, so that bank was like, all right. They had a meeting the next week. All right, next week, they're like, all right, guys, we lost $240 with that. <laughs> Did y'all ever think that through? <laughs> Whose idea was that? Whose idea was that? No one wants to say anything. <laughs> yeah. Well, you owe me two hundred and forty dollars. That dumb idea. That's that's a great. I love that they thought of that. That would be smart too. Mm-hmm. Bryce Hockenberry. Who else checked the description just to see if they actually timestamp Joe's comment? I think a lot of people did. Yeah, we did, right? Yep. No response from Joe. Not at this. Not at this moment. Not, that I've not seen. this moment. Mm-hmm. We'll Joe's, see what happens. Joe's probably done with this. A few people agree with Joe. Oh, I get it. They just want their own <laughs> timestamp. Yeah. James Greer. My wife and I went out for our monthly date night dinner. Our monthly date night dinner. Is that how you would say that? My wife and I went for a monthly date night dinner. I guess so. <laughs> how would, how would you say, say it? My wife and I went out for a monthly date night. I don't think you say what you do. You know, you wouldn't go, my wife and I went out for a monthly date night movie. Maybe that's all they get into is dinner. You know, I guess they're saying we went to dinner. I guess he's and they're going to talk more about dinner. Okay, that's a sentence that messes me up. My wife and I went out. (laughs) My cousin and my uncle went out. I'm like, I'm all fucking. Hold on, hold on, guys. Let me get it together. My aunt, my grandmother (laughs) have been married for five years. You're like, what? Oh no. Okay, I read that wrong. Hmm. My wife and I went for a monthly date night dinner. Hmm. The waiter came to our table and said, "Hello, folks." My heart filled with joy. He took our drink order, then proceeded to tell us the specials of the night. To see if he was a true fan, I asked him who his source was after he finished telling us the specials. In his best Nate voice, he said, our manager, Bob Ripplepants. <laughs> How funny is that? I gave him a high five, and he walked away. The look on my wife's face was like watching a car wreck because she had no clue what the heck just happened. Keep up the greatest average podcast. How that's a, about it? I, you know, that's one of my – that is date night dinner. I'm gonna start saying it now. <laughs> now that, your convert. That story came. <laughs> yeah. What a fun story! That is so good. Like the hello, like because it is. That's what's so fun about it is like people can you know. You take a risk when you do it. Yeah. You know, so that waiter's walking around saying hello, folks, to all his tables. All his tables, and it paid off for him. Yeah, I know. And it paid off, and it's worth for it for James. Like that's yeah. It makes it. I mean, yeah. I love the risk that we're all you have to put out. Like I love someone goes, hello folks. And you gotta go, you have to say something like you have to say, what's your source. That's yeah, even like, right. and the guy could be like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. What a weird question. And you're like, has. sorry about that. And now your whole, your waiter's weird with you the whole time. <laughs> I love the danger that you get put in. I mean, the non-important danger, but just the awkward danger that you get put in with a, you get to go, let's go folks. And they're like, God, get out of here, dude. <laughs> and people just say it. All right. Now is the time to celebrate. The first NFL Sunday of the season is about to kick off, and DraftKings, the official daily fantasy partner of the NFL, is putting you in the center of this weekend action. New customers can get a free shot at $1 million top prize with the first deposit by signing up using code NATELAND. Get in on the action now. It's very simple. You just pick your lineup, stay under the salary cap, and see how your team stacks up against the competition. Fill the NFL action like never before with a free shot at a million dollars payday. I think this is a lot easier than doing the whole fantasy league and you get a chance at a million dollars, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's quicker. It's easier. Download the DraftKings app now and use code NATELAND. This week, new customers, like I said, get a free shot at the $1 million top prize and compete for millions in prizes across all contests. Enter code NATELAND to get a free shot at the $1 million top prize with your first deposit. That's code NATELAND. Only at DraftKings, the official daily fantasy partner of the NFL. Minimum $5 is required. Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com for details. And uh, go Titans. Go Titans. Uh, also, we like to talk uh, to our friends. When we are getting through, uh, like we all like to talk. We like to talk on this podcast. You want to talk to your friends. But they don't always give the best advice. Our advice is all they don't listen to. Maybe they have their own problems. You want neutral feedback and advice from a licensed professional professional can be way more helpful talkspace.com is where you need to go uh everybody's going through a lot of stuff it's all crazy when you're in a low point you might feel alone uh but over half of america struggles with their mental health people talk about it you always have this stuff everybody needs help it's good to sometimes help it will help you it helps your family it helps your relationship i promise all that stuff 
it's just nice to be able to talk to someone so you don't have to talk to, uh, I don't know, so you can get stuff off your chest. That's not a, it's a good thing. If you're, uh, you're going to love Talkspace, they make it so easy to match with a licensed therapist to schedule live video sessions all from the comfort of your device. You can start messaging your therapist the same day you sign up. Whether you're experiencing depression, anxiety, or other problems, I mean, you have trouble flying. You have, I mean, all this stuff. Talkspace is the number one online therapy platform to help you sort through any issue. They have thousands of licensed therapists are available for you to match with. Uh, start feeling better with a single message. Match with the licensed therapist when you go to Talkspace.com. Get $100 off your first month with the promo code Nate. That's $100 off when you use code Nate at Talkspace.com. Finally, Mac Weldon. Uh, you're a busy guy, so stop thinking about what to wear and just embrace the radically efficient Mack Weldon Daily Wear System. The daily Wear System is a selection of clothes rooted in smart design, made with performing fabrics, and built to work together. I'm golfing. I do a lot of stuff. Uh, I do do a lot of stuff outside. Mack Weldon's Vesper polo and dry knit t-shirts are perfect for me. I've been working out. Uh, my nipples don't point, point to the ground. I got told that oh. from a year ago. That's what my guy said. He goes, look at your nipples. They don't point to the ground. I was wearing Mack Weldon when I work out. Uh, their socks are great. Uh, I wear the, their underwear, their boxers for golfers when it's super hot. They have like, they're awesome. Cause they're just very light. Uh, for the ultimate lazy Sunday, they, uh, they have a sweat shorts, have modern tailoring and pair perfectly with their ultra soft, ultra upgrade Pima Pima T's or Pima T's, P I M A T's. Mm -hmm. uh, for weekend travels, both near and far, their silver knit polo and radius shorts are the perfect high tech, high packable combo. Buy sometime this summer with the Mack Weldon's daily wear system. 20% off your first order. Visit MacWeldon.com slash Nate and enter promo code Nate. That's MacWeldon.com slash Nate. Promo code Nate for 20% off. Mack Weldon, radically efficient wardrobe. All right. We'll be right back. Welcome, everybody. We're very, very excited uh, for this guest. I've put my jacket on. <laughs> this is a big one, dude. It is. Uh, Jay Cutler is here. Did uh, you get that when you were like eight, hmm? nine? I bought it the day they, that you signed with Vandy. <laughs> <laughs> I went to that <laughs> <laughs> I was there. You didn't even know who I was when I signed up. Andy. You said I've been looking at it. I go, hey, look at this tight end. I go, we got, we got this top tight end. That's what we talked about in his podcast. They brought him in uh, as yeah. a tight end, and they told him no. That's what he's being recruited as yeah. first, as a tight end. Yeah, now listen. Wow. Yeah, crazy, huh? Big fan of the podcast. Maybe if he was a tight end, it would have worked out. You ever think about that? <laughs> I, I might still be playing. Might still be out there. Yeah, dude. might still be doing it. Do you sit there and ever? Don't you have to stay in shape? Like, what if you get <clears throat> called? Me? Like, yeah. No, Would they call you? You no, you I, replaced Ryan Tannehill in Miami, yeah, right? I did. Yeah. So if the Titans let's say last week of the season, <laughs> sure, Ryan goes down, they're getting ready to go to the playoffs. They call you Jay. We need you. You can still serve on the school board. Yeah, you can do all that. <laughs> you can do all your stuff. You can, can, do all, you can go to your you Tuesday night meetings. I can do a podcast uncut. Yep, but we just need you to lead us to a Super Bowl. Uh, that's a tough. Uh... I don't know if I could do school board and Super Bowl in the same the same season. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is true. That's true. I mean, those that's, are that's two. Well, I would love that to be your thing on ESPN. You're like, I, guys, I just got a lot on my plate right now, <laughs> to be honest. One night's the school board meeting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, guys, Super Bowl's a Sunday. It's not on Sundays. Yeah. <laughs> are the Monday night game's over? Because that's when we meet. Yeah, that's <laughs> when, it's, <laughs> it's an hour commitment. And it's really, really important to me. Can we do it in the locker room? You're, How's everybody really comfortable with uh, men naked? Is that, you have to be comfortable, like, that's just men naked all the time. Is yeah, that locker room. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. That's probably it, that makes a lot of people not play sports. I don't. Know. I think it does at a high school level. Yes, for mm -hmm. sure. Because at a, I mean, where I guess we're going down this road. Um, but at a high school level, like you know, there's towels. Like you're yeah. you're, you're you're still discreet. Yes, uh -huh. you're nervous. You're, you're nervous, still, but you're trying to. Yeah. But you're trying. You, you don't want to be dirty, yeah. so yeah. you, you want to take this shower. Yeah. But so it's like, hey, like. Take your shower, take your towel, you know, right to the water, do the yeah. thing. College, less, and then the NFL is just like, it's just naked men. Just and it's it's a job. It's professional everywhere. We're yeah. professionals, and yeah. we're just like it's just yeah. there's nakedness everywhere. What if like so? Aaron would probably take a shower with his shirt on. Would people be upset about that, or are they <laughs> like like is that? Well, high school is you have kids who haven't hit puberty yet. Yeah, yeah. you get a mixed with, bag. With grown men. Yeah. <laughs> and then once you get past high school level, they're all grown men yeah. at that point. I mean, yeah. Some are grown more than others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're grown men. Yeah. They're same. grown men. Are there reporters in there when y'all are? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's reporters. There's there's 
there's male perfor- uh, reporters, there's female reporters. I mean, this, uh, and there's just people just coming and going. You know, it'd be a funny sketch. I thought of that you could do for your uh, for uncut. Hmm. Uh, and Jay's got a great podcast. I was the second episode. Very honored to be the second yeah. episode. Uh, uncut, mm-hmm. right? Uncut yeah. with Jay Cutler. That's uh, like on that. everything. It's better yeah. than it's doing better than this podcast already. <laughs> <laughs> give it, uh, give it time. Give yeah, it, no, give, give, it, give it, give it, give it some time. <laughs> that's what we're waiting. We'll have you back, and you're like, Jay, what happened? That's what, uh, that's what they said. That we we opened it, whatever, and I was like, oh damn it! I wish we were like a yeah. hundred and sixtieth. Like, yeah, yeah. Just to ease in. Yeah, the only way to go is probably down at this point. So yeah, we'll see you just, what happens. You're, you're, it's going to be great. It, it's going to you're going to love it because it's it's look. I when I started this one, mm-hmm. I didn't know. I mean, I do. Th- I talk yeah. for a living, and so, uh, but I didn't know. I'd, a lot of people do podcasts, and you're like, I don't know if I want to do it. But what I, I've really, really enjoyed it, and it's nice to. Uh, I don't know. For me, it makes it you're funnier. You're thinking sure. more. Yeah. You're just like. And so, like, you're just going to realize when you're doing these every week that your your like brain starts thinking differently, and you start thinking of stuff and funny stuff and whatever, and I, it's just nice. Yeah, I have noticed that, and just I mean, there's there's something about like you know being around people and in, in, in a in a in a artistic and engaging way, like it just kind of like you said, it just stimulates you and kind of gets things going. So I, I've enjoyed yeah. it so far. And they can see your personality. Everybody thinks you're not fun. <laughs> I might not be. You know? Yeah. To be determined. Who knows? We'll yeah. see what happens after. I, 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 I was worried about Nate. I mean, because I was like, hey, like, he's obviously super funny. I've watched Netflix. Uh-huh. I've watched this podcast. And I was like, he's super funny. But he came in, you know, very just under the radar. Didn't say a whole lot. <laughs> not a lot of expression. And he sat down. He's like, what do you want to talk about? I was like, you know, I mean, I've got some. We'll just kind of, we'll just talk. He's like, okay. And I was like, in the back of my mind, I was like, Oh my gosh! Like my second one's gonna bomb. This is yeah. gonna be real, real, real bad. And then we, I think we talked like it was fi- great. Yeah, we talked like fifteen minutes before I even got to question one. So well, I think we're very similar in the like kind of low key, mm-hmm. not like super animated. Yeah, not you know just yeah. kind of easy. Sure. If I play football, I think I would have. They would think the same thing. You're like he doesn't care or something. Like they, they you're would, like they, I love everything. Yeah. Like they would hate you. They would oh they'd be <laughs> furious, dude. I get it all the time. Like people think. This guy hates his jokes. Yeah. They're like they think all this stuff, and you're like, no, I'm having an awesome time. I just yeah. don't show uh, it. Oh, like I think people. it's hilarious whenever like you tell a joke and you just kind of go straight. Yeah. And just I'm like, this is he's funny. That's stuff. what makes it yeah. you know funny is you don't. Yeah, I tell these jokes every night. Yeah, I hear them. They're <laughs> all good. We have uh, I didn't have a picture of you over there uh, in that top right hand corner. Oh yeah, Denver. Yep, Denver. I think it's autograph. Jay Color have a Vanderbilt turf yeah, it's up that, there. That is, uh, yeah, that's a legit. That's a real one. Yeah, that's a legit. You can autograph. tell. Oh yeah, I can tell. Just because your signature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can tell when it's fake. Is it? Yep. Do you tell anybody how? You know, I don't uh, think you should. No, I'm definitely not gonna tell anybody. Because then they start figuring it out. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, no one really wants it anymore. What if you're like, <laughs> I'm left-handed, and that's how you tell? You're like, you're, <laughs> you go. <laughs> it's a big one. Is it? When you sign, I can notice. Would you ever get? Does your signature change? Like when you, y'all have to sign like yeah. thousands of balls. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if people are still signing a lot now. Yeah. But whenever I came out, it was all the cards. It was it was a big it was a big rush. Yeah. And you'd sit there and you'd sign, you know, five thousand like little tops cards. That's crazy. And I got to a point where I was like, all right, do I just? put jc in like a six at this yeah. point or we just continue down this road would you change it i didn't oh you always that's good i didn't i i came close at one point but i was like hey you know what just do it i'm already committed i'm already committed so just 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 do it that's good though yeah. mm-hmm. that's i like that you can tell the signature too if you could tell if it's real or not yeah. Yeah. would you even remember when that would have been i mean obviously at denver but like would you that was that was my rookie year yeah that was that was year one do you remember signing that picture <laughs> I do not remember. Where were you? What was going on that day? <laughs> I was in my bedroom. <laughs> All right. It's a little personal. That's what I like. It, really it was there. the first one I did. <laughs> uh, I had that football is flat. I think that might be – that's a Vanderbilt football. Uh, I got a lot of Vanderbilt stuff. The helmet. Yeah. What do you think oh, about the new, uh, the new logo? Uh, I saw it. Uh, I haven't looked at it so, <clears throat> so much, but uh, I liked it. I saw the uniforms and stuff. I think I liked it. Is it the gold uh, – what did they change? What are we looking at? Yeah, go to the fo- go, go go. Yeah, there we go. Go like football uniforms or something like that. Yeah. See, this is what I. This he is doesn't what I, know how to look stuff up. He looks up the worst. I know. Sometimes he types in. What were you looking at the other day? Like it was there like it's the stuff that gets nowhere. See, I need this on my podcast. I need like a Google person. Oh yeah, 
Yeah. That's what you learn. You then you can type it in. Yeah. You have you probably have a Google person. I know. I need to get I, yeah. or I need to tell them to be like you you're just say you're it. my Google person. Yeah. Yeah. I'll come in and what's do the that. new one we're looking at here? The what do you mean? The new logo. Yeah. Which one is it? I have no idea. Uh, we don't know, man. <laughs> I don't even think they <laughs> have one. This? What team is this? Oh, that's that's Colorado. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. Uh that is where uh well, so I, I basically I need a better Google person than yeah. your Google person. Well, Aaron's not great. How about you? I mean, I'm off to a slow start for sure, but I'll pick it up. Safari. Vanderbilt new uniforms. There we yeah. go. Brian, you should be the Google person. Looks like. I was, and they yeah. took it away from me. Really? Yeah. Why? Because uh, I'm too good. Uh, Brian too- knows what to do, but sometimes speed is more important. Than I was yeah, too yeah. fast and precision. Ooh. No, he would he would go in, and it was like uh, he's used to doing like fax machines and stuff. Like that. <laughs> uh, so, all right. This is that's there's new. no real yeah. yeah that's the new uniform. Who took that yeah. picture? Like, why would that picture. be your? Why would that? Aaron took it. So do y'all have it? When y'all take the uniform pictures, yeah, is that like there's a another whole one day? No. Oh, I, yeah. The V. Well, I like it. I like the stripes on the shoulders. I like the stripes. The V is. I don't know. The V is a little different. Yeah. I I, I actually kind of like it, but I don't. I mean, people don't like change. But like, you know, the, the gloves. It's like it's. Uh, no, I like it. I mean, it's fine. Yeah, yeah I yeah. love the stripes on the shoulders. Yeah, I like the stripes. Um. But the yeah, the picture day is like no, you're there for, it's like five minutes. I mean, it's, yeah. it's an all day thing, but you just take your individual. I mean, NFL is a little bit different because you have like all the in uh, Monday night, Sunday night, which are different broadcasts. Yeah, no, okay. Thursday night, which are different broadcasts. Like you have to do different different ones for all of them. You have to say your name. Like you have to do the intro. Yeah, like you know four. Oh, or five like when times. they so when you. Like when they show you on Monday Night Football and you're the moving person. Yeah. So that, that's got to be kind of awkward. So though. that was a day. De- oh, super awkward. I hated it. Yeah. Because like you have to be like. Some people love it. Oh, I can imagine. You have the personality for it. Yeah. It's yeah, great. Yeah. Not me. Otherwise, they're like, is that a regular picture? And then they see you blink and they're like, <laughs> yeah. God, <I'm> just- <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but you have to do that for Sunday Night Football. You have to do it for Monday Night Football. You have to do it for Thursday Night Football. And then usually you have to do it for the team, the team website. And so you have to do it every game. They don't like. No. You One it, video. You do it in the you do it in the beginning of the year. Yeah. Um, for the se- preseason ish, mm-hmm. and then you're you're good. What was your go to move? I bet it was like just kind of twirling football. Yeah. You, yeah. You twirl it. Like I I hated it. I yeah. Was you ever like, do that? This is like <laughs> dumb. Like, yeah. I, yeah. I, I would hold be, the ball I, up to it. it. It got to a point where I was like, hey, just tell me exactly what you want me to do. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I like that too. Yeah. Man, just we're give exactly me exactly the same. I do when you go do I do it. All, I go. What do you want? Yeah. <laughs> what in your mind? Yeah. Is going to be best for you? Yeah. And I will. I will do it to the best of my ability. We the the little bit when I you do a special, you have to take a bunch of pictures. Yeah. And uh so they would usually do it like right before the special and you gotta go and like the dude's like, All right, do this. And there's all this stuff that you learn. You know, I just learned it uh at the, for your chin. So uh, your chin go up, you put like your tongue at the top of your mouth mm-hmm. and it makes that what is, like what does this that go do? up. So if someone takes a picture of you in the side, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I do it right, but it makes it goes up. Yeah, me, I mean, me and Nate have the double chin problem. Like, you yeah. just cover yours up with. Uh, yeah, yeah. I I have the same problem. I'm just. And, I, I, and yeah, Brian just but. doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> he just leans into it at this he point. Just, yeah. it's happening. So it's that's happening. what it fixes the double chin. Yeah, tongue so, to so the roof the picture, of the mouth. Tongue to the roof of the mouth, and then yeah. I just learned that. Uh, and so, like, there's a little stuff like that that yeah. you know. So, like, people that know how to take pictures. That's why I was saying modeling is kind of crazy because they. They have to like it's hard to look good, f- good and photogenic, yeah. and yeah. and so these models like have to know how to like stand and like do stuff, and it's Body like all control. day yeah. of just like doing these. Because when I would do those pictures of the specials, like you just sit there and you start moving, and they're like, you know, the guys like, I mean, it's just every picture is the same picture, yeah. and he's like, I get, it. all right, and like when I go, and then they send them to you, and they're like, what do you think? I go, I don't, I don't I, even care. Yeah, I don't care. Just put whatever out. Yeah. Yeah. And then they usually pick one that you're like, well, that's the worst one I've ever. And then you go, well, let me see them now because I apparently you don't know what I look like, and that's awful. And like I think it's good. I don't think anybody looks at it. They, I don't think they care. I, I think for, uh, you know, like I've learned that with comedy, we, or like with we we get on posters. One of the best did I tell the story about the best poster I've ever did was a picture of me holding my nephew when he was born. And so then they just cropped my nephew out. And, it's a, and I'm like, this? <laughs> and it was like, Nate Bargetsy, tonight, East Phil Comedy Club in New York. And it's just like a picture. And I'm like, that's me holding my nephew. <laughs> like, it's a- I know, but is, does anyone really want to be like a good looking comic? I feel like the, the, the worse you look, maybe the funnier you are. Yeah. yeah it's so difficult it, for me, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but he you, fights through it. Yeah, that's right. why he wears that jacket, just to balance it out. <laughs> Do you recognize that camo? You're a big hunting guy. 
Uh, what is that, real tree? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah for sure. Oh, oh, <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. Tomorrow's a big day in Kentucky. Yeah. Open for, season's open, it'll oh, be tomorrow. So Aaron just looks the part. Oh, oh <laughs> uh, okay. He, he loves I respect it. He respects it, and he loves to look. He's yeah. like a fan. It's like a guy wearing a, bear, a Bears uniform. Oh, so right. you just buy camo. Yeah. Now, I was gifted this, yeah. this particular jacket, but I will buy camo, yeah. But, but like I'm never gonna, for functional purposes, just oh, for no. just for. I love the way it looks, fashion. man. Yeah, just I fashion. love what I love the statement. He's trying to hide a lot. What's the sta- <laughs> what's the statement that it makes? Just like you can't push me around. <laughs> yeah, you know? like there is a limit. Do you, you're pretty it's close very to funny it. to be. Uh, you should just wear the orange jacket over it, so you don't get shit. Like you should. That should also be your. Yeah, statement. yeah. At all times. Like, at hey. all times. And you go like, no, I'm just a fan. You just go. You hunter. You're like, no, nah, just big nah, fan. Fan yeah, of the gang. Sure. I just walk around the woods a lot, just, cheer, <laughs> just cheering them on. Let's go, boy. Let's go, boys. Let's Today's go. our day. Let's go. You know, whisper it. Let's go today. Let's go. Let's go. They're. Uh, you're yeah. So Kentucky's it's open tomorrow. When's Tennessee? Uh, it opened last weekend, but there's a three day season, and then it's closed. It's closed for the next like two or three weeks. Oh, I always I do remember like deer season. Do you? I mean, I never did it. Yeah, but I just remember it was, the it was, guys that it, it did was a it. Thing. It was a thing yeah. that they were like season starts today. Is it like bow or? It's bow. Yeah, yeah. but uh, you can use crossbow. I don't, but the boys are what nine and seven, so they'll use a crossbow tomorrow. But you do bow. I do, I do like bow bow. What yeah. time do you go? Now, like during this time of season, like we only hunt in the afternoons. Oh yeah, did they not? Would they get up at four? The boys, yeah. Oh yeah, they love it. Um, they're getting there. Yeah, this is still you kind of going like, no, it's going to be great. Uh, <laughs> it's it, it's you know it's one of those things that you tell them it's going to be great, but like, you better make it great. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> if you build it up, build it up, build it up, and then it's not great. It's it's gonna yeah. fall flat real yeah. quick. Uh-huh. So if there's no deer, you're gonna kill a person. <laughs> just whatever you gotta do, you gotta do something. See that guy? Yeah. We're we're pulling the trigger. On we're something. pulling the trigger on something. <laughs> yeah. Squirrel. I mean, something. Something's going down. A corn stalk. Like something. Yeah. Something has to happen. Bow hunting is that. Well, that's the most like real. Like that's the yeah. intimate. You know, uh, the, the, big, the the purest, the purest of yeah, the, the real purest. Uh, Rogan, big yep. bow hunter. Jeff yep. Foxworthy. Big bow hunter. Yep. He talked about it because he wanted, because he was trying to get me to go out. I've never been. But I'm, I don't, I'm not going to cut. I don't like. You don't want to start with bow. That's a whole. Well, that's I a, don't even want to. That's, that's you a kill commitment. it and you got to like yeah, dress a, it. Yeah. That's a whole thing. Yeah. It's not dressing. It's not what you think. You're like, <laughs> it's not turkey. Yeah, I'll, I'll dress it, dude. Yeah. Like, I think it's putting clothes back on it. You're like, I cover it up. And you're like, no, it's the exact opposite. We're going to get in there. And like, you're like, this is the worst, dude. All in there. All in there. Well, we we want to talk about. Uh, you are from Santa Claus, Indiana. Yes, sir. Uh, mm. Funny story. I found out yesterday. My parents went there for their honeymoon. Really? I don't know how I feel about that, dude. They, Why would they go there? Because they have holiday $8 world. Dollars Do they to go to name. Holiday World? No. So my dad. So they. My parents. Yeah. They got married. No, yeah. uh, <laughs> they're, they're, they're somewhere. Oh yeah. They were in their twenties, uh, and they just had no money, Very and so their their vacation was to go. Uh, Keep going. Their honeymoon. Their honeymoon. Either way, I'm just gonna type it in. Man. Go. Yeah, <laughs> Santa Claus. Indiana. I'm bombing over I here. I mean, the man. Google guy is really is terrible. Uh, I'm not the Google Maps guy. There it is. So, so they drove. They 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 said they went there. They got there. It was in November, and uh, as they pull up. There's a big snowstorm. Everything shuts down. And they basically they stayed one night and left. And well, there's nothing that shuts. I mean, there's there's literally there's a gas station and a couple of things. Well, yeah. whatever this. I was, mean, what year was this? 1970. When did they get uh, 11 20? So 1970. Uh, when God, when did they get married? Uh, I know the, when they got married on November 20th. I can never remember. I, I would. Like I would. I would. Something like that. I would love to know where they stayed. I'll find out, but I don't even know. They had to leave because they had to go to. They, my parents are from Louisville, Kentucky, and so then they had to drive. Uh, they just drove to Kentucky basically after they got there and just. Did, I thought they went to Metropolis, which is where's Metropolis? Is that Indiana? It's Kentucky. It's, I'm pretty uh, sure. I thought it was Illinois. Oh, Illinois. Oh, Illinois. It Illinois. is Illinois. It is Illinois. That's where Superman outside from. Paducah, right? Okay. Yeah. 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 So Born and raised there. The border. <laughs> Superman was <laughs> uh, the guy they based it off of. <laughs> Clark Kent. <laughs> Clark Kent. I, am I wrong? I don't know. Spider Man's from New York. <clears throat> he is from New York. All right. Do you Clark. know how Santa Claus became called Santa Claus? There's all kinds of rumors. Um, well, I know the truth. So okay. go ahead. I think I want to hear the rumors. <laughs> yeah. Are the rumors great? 
Well, no. we have, we have kids listening, so let's not go. You know, just remember that. Do a lot of kids listen to this? You think? I think so. We're not very Nate, high level podcast. <laughs> Educate. I mean, I talk like below. one one child. Your your. I think daughter? no. I think your boys would be. I might be too dumb for your boys. They'd be like, oh god. <laughs> like, let's just go hunting. I You're mean. like, uh, all right, Dad. I'll go. I'll go. Like, can guess. We can either stay home or watch Nate Land. They're like, all right, I'll go out there. I'll go. I don't even care if we get in there. <laughs> How's, how's Santa Claus get started? Well, they originally tried to call it Santa Fe, and that was already a town. Yeah, and that was already a town. <laughs> so the post office rejected it and said, "No, you got to call it something else." And then they're like, the original guys. How about Santa Claus? They became the most original. That's really? very funny. It's like go Santa Fe, the most unoriginal name, to then go. We got to be original, and they go, "All right, I'll, I'll take it up a notch." <laughs> How about Santa Claus? You're like, "Yeah, you're definitely the only one of that." Boom, boom. You take did that. It. Take that post office. Santa Fe, Santa Fe. Imagine if you were from Santa Fe, Indiana. I think I'd like it better. Really? <laughs> I think so. Santa Claus is, but that's kind of. I mean, you get asked. What do you? Get it's just asked? annoying. Like, you just like constantly. Yeah, it's annoying. What like, do you say? Do you, do you in, say? in college, I wouldn't even say it. I'd be yeah. like, yeah, I'm from Evansville. In Evansville. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Evansville, just outside of Evansville. Close enough. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, what's the difference? Yeah. Because it's like Santa Claus, really. And then everybody wants to go, but Jay, say where you're from. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> and they start finding out. Jay, that's not where you're from. That's say not, where you're from. That's not where you're from. Do bro. the whole thing. You got to do the ho, ho, ho thing. You're like, do the whole thing, Jay. You're from Santa Claus. <laughs> but did you go to Holiday World and stuff? Oh, uh, we had season passes. Yeah. yeah. So that was fun, right? Yeah. But I mean, if we can get yeah. it. Yeah. He's good. not going to be. What are we doing? Right what, what, what are we looking at? Um, so... Oh, Christmas Village. Christmas Lake Village. So do it's like Christmas all... Do you have like... The, give the satellite here. Yeah. Let's do this. Is it Christmas all year there? Do you want me to just run the computer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want me to slide it over? From yeah, his hometown? Yeah, maybe yeah. for your hometown. Christmas Lake. Yeah. So Christmas Lake is like a... a driving in your subdivision. By the way, you're doing very well. Thanks, um, man. We got, you know, we we killed the people that own this house and we just moved in. <laughs> I got it. They're buried, it they're, they're buried yeah. in the cross yeah. space. I don't think people will find out for a long time. But uh, my subdivision wasn't this nice, but it reminded me like... Yeah, growing up though, but that's... Yeah. Mine wasn't either growing up. You're acting <laughs> like now. Your subdivision is very nice now. Don't act like I'm living it. It's amazing. He's like, I wish I could one day have the... <laughs> but it, uh, you drove in and I mean, it's Christmas Lake Village in, yeah. in Santa Claus. It was the yeah. most bizarre thing ever. But it was, it was there was probably... a. I mean, a thousand people in the town and, you know, you could drive your bike everywhere and there's a park and then there was a lake. I mean, you're obviously messing it up again over here, but I'll fix it. Um, Who did you, what was your mascot? Reindeers? <laughs> did they have mascot reindeer? No, we went, we went straight for just Rudolph. Just really. <laughs> just kidding. Your, your, just your straight, face mask is red just with go, white helmet. Just go straight How good would that it. be? Yeah. But well, it, Who'd but, you, what high school did you go to? Christmas um, Lake. Yeah, it was it was a county high school, so it is it was a Heritage Hills High School. What y'all's mascot? Uh, the Patriots. Patriots. And it was the old it was the old um, New England, like the 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 down the, the three down. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You think you'd find that one? Or yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The old you go type in Heritage page. Oh, there's the Vandy one. Look at that. They have the stripes. Uh, <laughs> I just found that. They go. <laughs> yeah. uh, Heritage. Yep. Did y'all have any? Yep. Who, that exact that exact one. That's fun. Yeah. Did anybody else play? Did anybody come out of Santa Claus? Um, Bob Greasy. Oh. Bob Greasy's from Evansville. Okay. That's what he tells people. He's from, yeah, <laughs> he's from that area. Um, Is that code for you're from Santa Claus? <laughs> <laughs> he's the uh, second best Miami Dolphin to come from Santa Claus. Um, <laughs> oh, you are? <laughs> Bob Greasy. Dude, that's it. <laughs> I'm, <too. laughs> I'm a strong two, though. <laughs> strong runner up. <laughs> that's unbelievable. <laughs> that's the second best Miami Dolphin. Uh, uh, Ken Dilger. Ken Dilger. Okay. He played for he played tight end for Tampa. Um when you start Colts. When you start making it, does Bob Greasy like call you early? Like when you go to Vandy? Like so you are just like is it like, oh dude, you're from Santa Claus? Like nah. I'm from Santa Claus. No, I've never I don't think I've ever I've never talked to Bob Greasy. Well we brought him here now. <laughs> Bob, come on in here. <laughs> come on in, Bob. Uh, yeah, uh Yeah, so Spencer County, Indiana is where I was from. He's from he was from Rye Hill. Um, what he, he went to Illinois. He was a quarterback in high school. Starter and as a tight end. Yep. Same thing. Yep. And then he played tight end and uh, won a Super Bowl in Tampa whenever with, uh, what was that? Who was there? Gruden, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's when. Uh, yep. 
They they really want to make y'all tight ends over there. <laughs> big tight ends. Big, yeah. Big tight end school. Were you from San Carlos, Indian? Tight end? Tight end. Let me guess, tight end. Tight end you. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, I don't want to be a quarterback. You're like, all right. Yeah, yeah. Mm. We'll see about that. Yeah. Hand me that coffee over there. This guy, watch this. <laughs> Uh, what else about Indiana? Well, uh, Dale Harris, was he from Santa Claus? Do you know who that is? NBA coach? Dale Harris. Yeah. Dale Harris. No way. All right. According to Wikipedia. Dale? Oh. Dale. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You remember him, right? He was born in 1937, Jay. <laughs> uh, go, let's go early life. This was, no, this is like. Uh, 1937. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, plain field. Well, Brian man. started following him when he was at the Utah Stars. <laughs> well, I just thought uh, if he's from your hometown, you might know he's ABA from coach. Plainfield, Indiana. <laughs> Is that close? I think it's up north. Oh, wait. Born oh, he was born in Dale, Indiana. Really? Yeah, that's that's like 10 minutes away. Oh. Yeah, see. It's 84 I, years old. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's okay. I wasn't I, I, I mean think it's, I wasn't I wasn't I, I wasn't around the forties there, so yeah. I mean, I'm sure a lot's changed. Well him and Brian and Dale were. <laughs> Where, where's Plainfield, Indiana? I think that's mm-hmm. up north. All right. Uh Indianapolis is the capital and largest city in Indiana. You guys talk about Indianapolis a lot? Yeah. yeah outside Indy. Outside um, Indianapolis. How far is Indianapolis from you? Like three three hours. Would y'all drive up there at all? No. Evansville. Who were you? Lou- were, Lou- were you a Colts fan? No, I was a Bears fan. Okay. Because all my family's from Chesterton, Indiana. Okay. Chesterton, like Valparaiso. Yeah. Indiana, like uh, Bryce Drew. And that, yeah. Like Valpo. Valpo. That's Valpo. So, yeah. Like, all my family's from up there, my mom and dad's family. So they all grew up Bears fans. So I grew up a Bears fan. Did enough. so they, that, probably a lot of people were Bears fans in that. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people were Colts fans. And then yeah. Ken Dilger went to the Colts. And yeah. so, like, that, everyone was kind of Colts fans yeah. around there. That's a uh, Valpo. Was you would you, would you have went to school at Valpo? Or did they go to Valpo? You're like family or? Uh, I mean, some of them did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, we they moved out of it. I never. All my family was up there, but like, we would just go visit for Christmas. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Whatever else. People in Indiana are called Hoosiers. That is correct. No one seems to quite know what a Hoosier is. Do you know? Because um, I read a different. What do you? What do you? What do you have? Some people th- said that uh, it. People in Virginia, California, or Carolinas and Tennessee called Indiana people Hoosiers because they were backwoodsmen and country bumpkins. It's like a <laughs> derogatory. <laughs> you think it's like a basketball? I mean, you're like, that's oh, a pretty good. They're like Larry Bird is like from Indiana. And you're like, no, they don't. They can't read. <laughs> Bump, it says bumpkin. Country bumpkin. Yes. Does Indiana? They they consider. I guess Indiana. What do you think? Y'all are pretty. They think redneck. Like you no. know. You're like on the cusp. We are on the cusp. I think you can get there. You can definitely There's get places, there. There's yeah. places. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, can you, find there, places. you can get there in a yeah. hurry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, but I think once you get like Indianapolis and above. Yeah. No, no, no. They yeah. think they think like more Chicago. Like we're yeah. a little bit more sophisticated. Like, like he's, more, no, more northern. Yeah. He's northern from Alabama. Alabama. So that's like, yeah. yikes. Right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. But he went to Notre Dame. Yeah. I did. How? He's a family. I don't know, dude. They read like Shakespeare, like for breakfast and really? stuff. Really? Like they would just like talk <laughs> giant words at his his family. They well, would it talk makes sense he can't work at a computer then. He's <laughs> yeah. just more. He's just, he's just book, book guy. Yeah, he's a book guy. He wears yeah. camouflage just to kind of what he this is what he thinks poor people dress like. So he wears that <laughs> just to fit in. He goes, "This is what they wear, right?" What did you study at Notre Dame? Marketing and philosophy. Really? Yeah. yeah. How's that going? <laughs> well, he talked about philosophy here. It's all kind of ridiculous. Really? Yeah. What did you study at Vandy? Um, human organizational development. That's like the... Yeah. yeah. You know. <laughs> and then I got a minor in communications just because I didn't want to go to grad school. Yeah. There I took speech at Ball, Volunteer State Community College. For a couple same weeks. Same thing? Yeah. All the same. Yeah. That's as good as a communications degree from Vanderbilt. Same thing. <laughs> same thing. I, I told him that. And I talked to my speech class. I told him 95 Vanderbilt season. We went... <laughs> Five and six, I showed the highlight reel. <laughs> and that was my favorite. It was uh, you, were my favorite, Corey Chavis, before you was Corey my all time favorite yeah, yeah. Uh, Vandy player. Uh, I had a football signed by him, and that fo- the, the signatures. I need to get Corey Chavis' autograph again. Is he still doing? Uh, he still does footballs, fantasy stuff. Oh, I think he was I loved big, Corey Chavis. Yeah, he was big in the NFL draft yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Like he was he, doing that. Yeah, he knows everybody. Yeah. 
Knows everything about everybody. Big yeah. Corey Javis fan. When the Titans call you to come back, I'm still on this. Sure. Will you call Earl Bennett? Will be your first call say, Earl, we got to get the guys back together. Get the band yeah. back together. Earl's like, he's, I think he's on staff at Mandy. Like, he's, yeah. he's, he's got a real job. I don't have yeah. a real job. Mm. So, I mean, I can pull it off. Yeah. You um, might go play arena football. Yeah. Yeah. It's so anybody can call you and they just come here. And give, yeah, I'll try it, dude. I'm but in, yeah. sure. <laughs> I'll give it I'll give it a shot for a okay. day. Shot, dude. Like, I would love to get, see what happens here. <clears throat> could arena would arena football be could you play arena football? Or is it like so weird? No, I think I can play tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it just would be really fun because oh, it's like weird. It'd be like playing on a basketball court. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It'd, be, it'd, be a, it'd, be it'd be a blast. Amazing. Yeah. Is that still on TV? Uh, I haven't seen on TV. I haven't seen on TV in a while. I don't know. I, if it used to be yeah. big. It used to be awesome. Yeah, well, yeah. We, I mean, we, I went to Nashville Cats. We, we talked about it. I, the only game I ever been to was a, their championship game. They lost. Jared Lorenzen played arena football. He did. Oh yeah, he did. The man. last. This is a weird story. The last arena football game I went to, and the only arena football game I went to was with uh, Stephen Nair. Oh yeah, Oddly enough. Yeah, a couple weeks before he uh, that all, all this. Oh, went you down. went with him? Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, he wasn't playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Oh man, that's crazy. It is. Yeah. How far can you throw a football? <laughs> Could just act like a, that sounds like a, like a child just walked in. Yeah. How big's your hands? Yeah. <laughs> How much do you weigh? Is your head bigger than my dad's head? <laughs> I think my dad could beat you up. And you're like, all right. Can we get him? <laughs> someone calm him down a little bit. Give him some Jay, chips. How or far? Something. Yeah. Give him some chips. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right now or at at, or in, in, at a both. Okay. Um, seventy five at some point, yep. maybe seventy eight. Oh, seventy eight. He's tested. Okay, yeah. And then right now, thirty, uh, ten, uh, 15. 15 yards. No, could you hit me? <laughs> Barely. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to use my left arm. Yeah, you roll? I don't know, sixty maybe. Yeah. Ooh. Is that farther than you? Air played football in college, so yeah, I was a center, <laughs> but. Not at Notre Dame. No, not at Notre yeah, Dame. I did. played while I was at Notre Dame, not yeah. for Notre Dame. He played, he played in the general area of Notre Dame. <laughs> yeah, Notre Dame was there, and he played around the school. I could get to it. Yeah. yeah I could walk there. I couldn't run 60 yards. The, so sub- the suburbs of South Bend. The suburbs <laughs> of South Bend. Did they, where did y'all, what was the, did y'all, we played Notre Dame when you played? No, uh, we played the year, year after, or the yeah. second year. But I grew up a Notre Dame fan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah big Notre Dame fan. Wanted to go there. And then they want you to be a uh, no, they, linebacker. They, they wanted nothing to do with me. Yeah. I don't even think they, I don't even think they knew I existed. Is that like when you get like, because you then, because that was the big thing was, uh, I, was, I was a big Bobby Johnson fan. Mm-hmm. Like Bobby Johnson did more for Vanderbilt than I think we gave him credit for at the time. And then as you saw all of you guys kind of come out of that, you're like, oh, this dude was like the real deal. Uh, but like, do y'all get like super motivated when you don't get recruited by someone? or And then you're like, and then you get to Vandy and you're like, well, I'm going to show you all that. All you because you're going to these schools that you're like none of y'all wanted me, and then after your, your first year, they're like, well, they would all take you now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I remember we went. I don't know if we went, well, we were in uh, Florida, and I was I was my red shirt. I was red shirting, but I was still dressing like it was me and another quarterback. And on away games, we would switch back and forth on the who who went in the away game, and you yeah. just dress. Like you weren't playing, and we were in Florida, and it was gosh, I think it was twenty eight to nothing into the first quarter. And we ended up losing like seventy two to ten. Yeah. <laughs> and I got home and I was like, "This is bad. Yeah, this is really bad. I think I I need maybe need to find my way out of this place." Yeah. Obviously, I didn't. But um, yeah, I mean, there's definitely a part of you that once you get somewhere where you know you maybe necessarily didn't want to go and is a little bit below where your expectations were that you want to you want to like oh yeah. we're not good yeah you want to go then, out there and and figure it out but then we came. Yeah, and you did. We started. Yeah, it was amazing. Bobby, Bobby, for being you know a a, a Steve. Who did he look like? Steve uh, Martin. Steve Martin. Yeah, look like look um, dead like him. Yeah, yeah. and it just a kind of just your old like grandpa looking yeah. white guy. Like they recruited really well, and I think if you look at like the James Franklin teams, and you know that his early success is is because you know yeah the, Jordan Matthews. I think yeah, Bobby. Yeah. Yep, those guys recruited so well um, he's still around he like really kind of disappeared like he uh he's got some health issues right now unfortunately oh that's oh. Yeah. well he, he like retired and then yep. uh that's a cool pick do you remember that picture where were you at on that picture? arkansas 
Jay? Arkansas. Yeah, it was Arkansas you know behind it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jay, what time was it exactly? I was, I was just talking about that game a couple days ago because one of my quarterback coaches um, that I had in Chicago is in Arkansas now. And uh, we had a two-minute drill. We had a fourth and, gosh, I want to say like 18 or 16. I remember listening to this game on the radio. Yeah. And we hit. He, I, he just got TV a couple years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I hit Eric Davis in the, in the seam. And then uh, we ended up scoring Marlon White on a uh, yeah. a slant to win that one. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. I remember Eric Davis. Yeah. This is the first time he's ever seen you in person. He's only heard you on the radio. <laughs> yeah. goes, I didn't know you were real. He goes, wow. <laughs> I thought you were black. And we walked in. <laughs> he goes, he goes, he goes, I was hoping you were black. I just assumed. <laughs> Martin, you walked in, he goes, oh, that, okay. That oh, makes sense. Right. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Walks out and meets the wrong person. I had that. Where is that comedy club? I was at, I don't want to say, I don't, I don't matter where we're at, but the, uh, I went to the comedy club. I remember going in the green room and the guy just walks in. He goes, all right, who's Nate? And he just looks at all of us and you're like, I'm headlining. I think it was sold out. And yeah. it's just such a funny, I was like, all right, here. And he goes, whatever. It doesn't matter. Like, don't care. Yeah, don't care. So who's like, he just, I could have, I could have, he would have let me host if yeah. I said, I'm the host. He'd be like, that's fine. All right. Kr- Kruger. Yeah. There's a, yeah. So you're Nate, matter. you're last. Who's going Who's first? going now? What's the other award? Uh, Indianapolis 500 is the largest single day sporting event in the world. I've been to uh, the racetrack. So have I. It's the largest in the world? Single day sporting event, it says. Really? How many people? 250,000. That can't be that can't be relevant still. Well, we don't really look at that. Nah. We don't look up too much stuff. We let our our fans comment and tell us the truth for the next week. But I mean, they, the largest, longest? Largest. One, largest. one day sporting event. 250,000. Who else would do? I feel like maybe like Talladega. Like, there's just got to be some NASCAR No, stuff. I don't think. I don't. I, I don't. I, I think they're under 100 or 200. I mean, they're probably uh-huh. close, but I mean that the Indy 500 is it around the? the it's, it's a track. It's a track, right? Yeah, it's not yeah, through they, the streets. Yeah. No. It's, but yeah. you said it's you've a, been to the been track. There. It's an it's oval. It's a NASCAR race. <laughs> it's an oval. Yeah. It's like a square, right? Yeah, I think it's an oval. Mm-hmm. It's a, yeah. I think they make it. They turn the blinker on. I guess because it's, <laughs> it's a sharp turn. <laughs> I guess I know everybody makes that joke about that they have to. Just left turns. Left turns. Uh. I've I mean, I guess it's, it's a it's a rounded square. It's a rounded rank t- rectangle. Yeah, you've driven around it. Yeah. Why? How? Uh, we went to a NASCAR race a long time ago. Uh, the Brickyard. The Brickyard. He didn't. And then he I just did. thought it was through the city of Indianapolis. He just well, drove through the downtown. Five hundred. But yeah. I've been to the Brickyard, and then uh, same track. Same track, yep. and then they uh, and so we got a we. My buddy Tommy Hall went and like did his he like his wife's dad worked for NASCAR or something, so we got to drive around the track. And we drove around it. I mean, very reasonable, slow, nothing crazy. It was at the end of the race. So, I mean, once you get around it, you're like, okay. It was like just going yeah. like 30. I mean, it was cool. It's a good yeah. story, though. I drove it, huh? It's a really good story. Right? Though. You know? <laughs> you're like, is this the guy's podcast? You're like, it's a lot of this, dude. Like, I just mentioned people that I grew up with. And they're like, the my neighbor Felix, you met him earlier. <laughs> you talked about him. Yeah. They, uh, I drove, we, one time we went to Charles. Uh, uh, is like, this as good uh, as the... Huh? Is this as good as a brick yard story? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Yeah, uh, Richmond, Richmond, the Richmond race. No idea. And we, the whatever NASCAR races in Richmond, and the gate was open, and we just drove our regular cars around it. Really? And then someone came, and they were pretty. They got pretty mad about it. What? But how fast were you bumpy. going? Not fast at all, because we were like, it was like there was like potholes and stuff. Really? Yeah. It's a little run down. Maybe that's why it was open. I'll be honest with you. Maybe it wasn't that one. The Richmond like race smaller. I don't. Maybe. It's just like a track I mean, around a football field. I was in field someone's surprise. driveway. I was like, I, like, man, that's what they get. It was a family. You know, that was a family that ran out and got. <laughs> you know, it turns out someone's house. Uh, it wasn't that exciting. Maybe. What's the largest know. crowd you've ever played in front of? Uh, Knoxville. Yeah, probably a hundred something, hundred and five, maybe. God, yeah, that's a lot. It's crazy. People. But you don't even hear it. Like it's like yeah, it's you tunnel vision. Like it's yeah. Uh yeah, I mean, and then there, I mean, it gets so loud that you just that you're you're just screaming in the huddle, and you just hope that everyone hears you. Yeah, <laughs> when the receivers take off running a little bit early, is that a sign we're not a part of this play? <laughs> it's either a sign that they don't care and they're not a part of the play, or it's going the other way, or they heard they most of the time they only need to hear they only need to hear like one piece of the play. Yeah. Like they don't care about the protection. They need to hear the formation and then whatever their piece is. Yeah. 
And if they hear that piece, they're like, all right, I'm out. Yeah. Don't care what else is what You I'm always out. see it as like, how funny it would be like, God, why are they stopping us? Say so you're like, hey, guys, I don't know, maybe the receivers don't take <laughs> off running. Yeah. Basically, they walk away and they go, it's time. <laughs> I've, I've been in huddles where you t- you said the play and the receiver just walks to the sideline because he's not getting the ball. He's like, I'm out. Get somebody, yeah. get somebody else in here. And then you're like, but we need. <laughs> uh, like, so part of it is like, they don't know. Well, maybe yeah. you're part of it. That's yeah. the trick. And yeah. then they just, because you always see them run off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well. Would you see it at a Vandy game? Like, would you notice us? Because we'd just be us up there. <laughs> and again, and just, it's four of us up there waiting. Just see me and Brian. Just, <laughs> Jay. Couple, Jay. Couple, couple parents. Yeah. Was it a bigger jump from high school to the SEC or SEC to pro? Uh, high school to SEC. Yeah. 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 When, I mean, the thing about the NFL is, I mean, playing at Vandy, like you were always, I think, I think we talked about this for a second, is, you know, we had like four good guys, yeah. maybe five. And like the SEC schools, like they all had 11 dudes that were legit. Yeah. yeah. Then when I got to the NFL, I was like, oh, well, all 11 of my guys are pretty good. So like it kind of evened out. It got a little bit, I mean, I'm not going to say easier, but it was just, yeah, well, that- it, was, it, was a, it was a more <laughs> level playing field. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, I get, I see the shock of the high school to SEC mm-hmm. and then the shock of SEC to, and if you saw, you played against those people and then you're like, yeah. And that's true. I never thought of that. Like where you're like, yeah, well, my 11 guys are just as good as your 11 guys. So you're at least like, you yeah. know, it's quicker and stuff like that, but it's, it's, uh, did you uh it sounds like the jump from Vandy to the other SEC teams was the biggest gap. <laughs> that was a yeah. big gap. <laughs> yeah. That was well, a gap. He yeah, I mean, you got yeah, I mean it was tough. You'd get sacked a ton. Uh and it was just I mean, I remember you getting just killed in some stuff, but we did good. I got a DVD. You can get you signed this DVD too of the uh 2006. I watch it every night. Uh Repeat. Yeah, just Put, repeat. Puts just me go. to sleep. You want to watch it? We're good. Love to. Yeah, just me and Jay just in there. He's like, all right, dude, I got to get out of here, man. <laughs> uh, what else about Indiana? Uh, two of the greatest sports films ever came from Indiana. Hoosiers. Hoosiers and Rudy. Rudy. Yeah. Hoosiers about uh Bumpkin family. <laughs> 1954 Indiana State Championship champion Milan High School. Oh, that's what they had made it about. First they go, what's this about? They go, all right. Well, we don't need shoes for this film. <laughs> and then they, you know, feed y'all hay. There's a, there's so. a there, I mean, there's a there's a lot of uh, story in this in this thing though. There's an alcoholic. There's, it's my yeah. favorite sports. There, there's there's the coach. The coach is like, yeah, he got kicked out of a different school for you don't really know. Find out what. Right. There's a love story in it. There's y'all a, watch there's a couple in, broken families. Y'all watch this in school. Yeah, I mean, this is this is. <laughs> Would this, they show it to y'all in like elementary school? Yeah, this is this is part of graduating sixth grade. That's how you get out. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to go to middle school? Like yeah. you, you have to watch Hoosiers, and you have to you have to give a uh, a report on it, and it <laughs> better be good. And it better be. If not, you're taking sixth grade again. Yeah. What was the other movie? Rudy. 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 Oh, that's right. You think Hoosiers is yeah. better than Rudy. I mean, I did. I thought they're both great. Probably, Rudy's probably my second favorite. Well, when but- you look into it, Rudy, and you're like, wasn't it like? The real story of Rudy's like it's not great. You can't, you can't do that with any of these movies though. You can't. Yeah, but look Hoosiers into- is a made up movie. Okay. So that's what I mean. Like, so the Rudy one is No, Hoosiers isn't made up. Oh it's no, not? it's based off a real high school team in Indiana. Oh. Mm. <laughs> the 1954 Indiana State. This is the first time I'm hearing about either one of these movies. So <laughs> it's what's wrong with Rudy? Like, what's the real story? Well, it wasn't he wasn't the story isn't I they say it's not that accurate, and Rudy was a little bit not that type of guy that he was portrayed as in the movie. I, I think about it now, older. If I, if that kid were on my team, I would hate that. Kid. Oh yeah, oh, come absolutely. on, guys, we're playing Purdue. I mean, that would be weekend. Nate. It's like, yeah. shut up, dude. You're not even yeah. supposed to be on this team. Yeah. yeah, you're not any good. Yeah, that would be you if you enrolled at Vandy and finally got in there, though. <laughs> yeah, but it, but it, like to be the voice of like Rudy was the <laughs> voice, right? I think I would know my place and I would like just back off. And they gave me a shot. People would be happy. Like, I'd be the, you know, when they throw yeah. the kid out there. You see that vein of basketball, you always see, like, the seniors that have been there the whole time, and they need to go play. Mm-hmm. And again, they get a start. He hauled the goalpost when he was in high school down West End. We beat Duke. Really? So, <laughs> <laughs> it's such a funny – but we beat South Carolina the week before, and it was our first SEC win we've had. So, this was – when was that, 95? And then, so it was our first SEC win. It's a uh, long, long history of excellence yeah. at Vandy. Yes. And so, uh, we try to take – the goalpost down that day, 
But the Titans were playing the next week, so they were like, "You can't." And I mean, literally, one guy told us no. And you and guys are okay. You guys are like, no problem. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> dude, it was nobody. Like there was like a guy just kind of near it. He's like, "Guys, do you mind? We got a Titans game tomorrow." We go, "Yeah, that makes sense." And then we all just went home. And then, uh, <laughs> and then we beat Duke the next week. And then we took it. And I remember I was like in high school, and I'm carrying it. We carry it out of the tunnel and we take it to some fraternity house. And they go, just put it in the yard. And we, I laid it down. And then I was like, all right. And then just, it was like, they didn't invite me to hang out or anything. I was like, all right. Like, I just literally was labor for them. <laughs> I'm 35 years old. No, I'm joking. I was at least in high school. So there, I graduated in 97. So, uh, but they, uh, yeah, it was, that, it was very funny, though, to be like, we did it against Duke. And it's crazy, too, because Duke was terrible. And now, I mean, Duke's gotten a lot better. Uh, They're okay. Yeah. Who was? I used to always say, I, uh, I always thought our first SEC win would be Alabama because that's how bad Alabama used to be. Yeah. And uh, that's always crazy to me because they're so good now. Yeah, they're machine. And it was like before they were terrible. And you're like, dude, we could beat Alabama. Mm-hmm. Would you beat Alabama? Did, or are they already no, turned? No, they were. They were already turned. They were turned. Yeah, up. it was good. Yeah. Yeah. Them and LSU, like, it didn't matter. Like, offensively, I think they've gotten a lot better, but – Defensively, like the, they had just animals up front. Like yeah. their front four, like where they had like three first round picks every year. Yeah, it's like where do you guys keep finding these dudes? Yeah, like aliens up here. Yeah. <laughs> Did uh, when you th- like throw like is the mechanics of throwing? Is it like all like is it just kind of a feel thing? Like you're just like I'm. Yeah, I, I'll just throw it. <laughs> like you're. You know what I mean? Not really. So, like, all right, like in golf. Try, try again. Super mechanic. Golf yeah. is very mechanical, right? So you got to think of, like, all these kind of different moves. Okay, I'll help you here. Um, so a golf swing and hitting a baseball, like, with your hips and, yeah. and your and and moving your weight yeah. is, is a lot like throwing a football. Okay. From, 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 your, from your, your feet up. Yeah. Up, up to probably, like, here. Yeah. And then you have to incorporate – you know, your arms and, and, and all this stuff. But from, you know, from here down, it's not that far off. Yeah. Like everyone kind of wants to correlate it to pitching a baseball and stuff. And it's not even close to that because you're stationary for the most part. You might take a small step, but you're, you're grounded in the ground where, where baseball coming off a mound, like you're getting momentum and you're, you're, and and then you're, you're basically falling off a hill. Yeah. And football, throwing football is not like that at all. But it's all it's your legs and stuff. It's, 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 yeah. it's your legs, it's your hips, it's your core. Like that's where you're generating all your power. Like this is this is just an extension. This yeah. is just like a whip. Yeah. So you could get man boobs right now and go just real super fat up top and sure. just keep nipple below <laughs> top shape, and you could yeah. I mean, I could in. get some enhancements or something, yeah. and just then do the whole thing. Just like, come in. You have to wear an extra big. You're you're. Shoulder pad's going to go up a little bit farther, and they're like, oh, God, and here comes Jack. He's like, but your bottom is just a rock, dude. Like, yeah. it's just, he's throwing it under me. You, you can spin it. You can still yeah. spin it, though. He's still, yeah, he's like, dude, yeah. he's, still, he's good. He's good. Yeah. He's good. Uh, Look at him. Yeah, yeah. He's got some boobs, but he's he, got some boobs. He looks fine. Yeah. He leaves his shirt on when we go in. The it's, it's 2021. Yeah. Yeah. It's perfectly, Everybody's cool with it. It's perfectly fine. Everybody's cool with it. All right. That's what yeah. I'm doing. All right. Another movie set in Indiana, Christmas Story. No. Oh. oh yeah. Set in Holman, Indiana. I met uh, the guy. Yeah. Which guy? The kid, the main kid. Ralphie. Yeah. Ralphie. Yeah, he might be moving here. Why? Uh I I don't know. Uh he's a uh what does he do now? He's uh looks like John Heffron yeah. a little bit. Yeah, the other God, is it him? No, yeah. I met Is him. he an attorney? Yeah. No, there was another guy. The guy the kid from Goonies is yeah. an attorney. Yeah. And I knew the entertainment. The entertainment attorney. Yeah. 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 He's a good lawyer. Uh, or entertainment lawyer, but he's the the fat kid from Goonies. Huh? Yeah, they get into they they get out of acting and then they get into like you know still somewhat in the entertainment world. <laughs> you just go Goonies fat kid yeah. truffle shuffle. And that's him. That yeah. we used to chant truffle Jeff shuffle. Jeff Cohen <clears throat> at yeah. fat kids, huh? The student section in high school basketball games. We, yeah. if a fat kid had the ball on the other team, we would chant truffle shuffle yeah. at him. Did you, how'd you feel about it? <laughs> I mean, I now I reflect back and I think, wow, I was yeah. so immature. Did they ever point at you and they go, 
time. I had the safety of a mob at the time. Yeah. They look I, back I at you just, like, I wouldn't stand in there by myself. Yeah. God, I'm calling the kettle yeah. black here. They go, I mean, <laughs> come on. Come on. <laughs> just the leader. You look in the mirror. <laughs> just the team. Okay, now we're, making fun. Right, now we're making fun of fat people. Yeah. Did anyone ever it's, ask you for your autograph in high school? Uh, No. <laughs> you didn't meet Brian. <laughs> who did you ask for? Carlos Groves. <laughs> He's like, a, who was he? Who's he played that? basketball no, at Tennessee. Tennessee. He played basketball at Tennessee. <laughs> and you asked him for his autograph in high school? Yeah. yeah. What did he say? Uh, I mean, he, 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 re- he did it. He reluctantly did it. His buddies made fun of him. Uh, yeah. I didn't care. I was like, hey, give it to me. Yeah, they were like, what'd you do with it? They were they were classmates, I believe. They, I mean, I looked at it last night. Age. So, like in yeah. English class, you're like, hey, <laughs> yeah, Carlos, we weren't at the same high school. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did you find him? <laughs> he came to our school to play. <laughs> I approached him with my magazine. You're oh, you're which I'm going to do with you after this podcast. Yeah, so, perfect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Uh, Indiana's had one president, six vice presidents. Who was oh. the president? Oh. Benjamin Harrison. Oh, yeah. Oh, he was an exciting one. One of our better ones. Lasted 30 days, yeah. right? 32 oh, days? Sorry. No, no not, not him. the first time I'm hearing about. No, didn't Big president guy. Yeah. Was that William president. Henry Harrison? Uh, it, it Maybe. Pence was the last VP, I take yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Six v- VPs. Dan Quayle before Pence. Dan, no, I remember I feel Dan like that Quayle. does a good a VP. Like that's a good state of y'all in Indiana where you're like, look, we ain't trying to be no. all up in everybody's business. No. We're good at what we do. Yep. Happy to be second. Happy to be number second. two. Yeah, number two. Yep. Their nickname Team is players. second best Miami Dolphin from Santa Claus. Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Team player. Yeah. <laughs> Any of his nicknames, one of their nicknames is Mother of Vice Presidents. Never heard that. Oh, the mother of oh. Because there's so yeah. many. Yeah, because there's six of them. I don't know. They're getting a little crazy there. I mean, do we lead the country in vice yeah. presidents? I think there was a period back in the 1800s where, like, every election there was a vice they president. They have a lot of names Indiana. for people. <laughs> uh, largest Christmas tree in the world is in Indianapolis. Really? Oh, not not ne- what about the New York one? Or live one? I don't know. I just make this stuff yeah. up. I got you. Oh, because it's in the middle of the square row, and they do it in Santa Claus. Good question. I mean, Why I think y'all that, do that? I think there's more than one Santa Claus is there in the U.S.? Oh, I'm, gu- I, I'm guessing. Not fun. Santa Claus cities. Mm. How many towns? Co- it said the question at the top. Oh, three. Boom. Yeah, I knew I was right. right. Never mind. Gonna, I'll follow up. Indiana, Georgia, Arizona. But the oh. the one in Arizona is a ghost town that got abandoned in '95. That's a ghost town. It's a town that's just it's, wait. So where, 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 where is Santa Fe, Indiana? Because that seems to be the problem here. Yeah. Found in 184 L at Santa Fe. I think the that The name was changed it. two days, it said, yeah. or two years later to Santa Claus. Mm-hmm. To avoid confusion with another Indiana town of the same name. Yeah, so I'm saying, so is there a Santa Fe, Indiana currently? Uh, I think I'm Yeah, saying, there's another one. It I said there's it's in Miami one. County, Indiana. Yeah. Where is that? Yeah, that's a big confusing place. <laughs> it's just getting worse. There are a like, lot of yeah. places in Indiana named where you think, like uh, there's a Mexico, Indiana. Yeah, it's right there. Kokomo. Kokomo, yeah. So what's a so a ghost town? I think I was going to start saying I don't know what a ghost town is. Santa Fe. I'm from Santa Fe. Like, can you go to a ghost town? Like, yeah. Is it, like, no one lives there. Like, out west. Like, yeah. towns that came up really fast during, like, the gold rush and stuff. And then... And you could just go walk around there. I mean, I think it's tourist sites now, but I think there's... So, oh, I would think you, you can't go live. You could just be like, I'm going to make this my town. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't think so. Might I, go to. Someone else. Yeah. I mean... Why would you not? Yeah, I mean, they're just... Old buildings. If you want to live there, I'm sure no one's going to stop you. Why don't we go start a town? I follow. There's a guy on YouTube I follow who bought a bought an old abandoned mining town in Colorado. Yeah. Bought it, moved in. He's just trying to renovate it, make Mr. It, Beast, make it his own little town. No, it's not him. It's a, you watch. Yeah, it's that's not Mr. Kids Beast. Probably watch Mr. It's not Beast. Mr. Beast. It's, I mean, he watches children's stuff. Would you play in the game on Roblox? <laughs> Is that where you where you got ticked off? Or you got tipped off to it? <laughs> With, yeah. Uh, yeah. In the chat on Roblox, <laughs> playing Adopt Me. How's this ghost town going these days? I mean, I haven't checked in on him in a while. He yeah. was trying to get internet going. He was oh, struggling yeah. for a He's while. He's trying to like really do what? Well, he was you trying could to do move it. in. Yeah. Like if you make it like a real salon and like did, people would go did, stay did, there. But didn't worry about like water, electricity. He's like, I need yeah, internet. Yeah, there's a major thing. Like, I need, when I we need, go to the bathroom, he goes, ah, dead gum it. And he just sits there and goes, <laughs> we, got, oh. we got Wi-Fi though. <laughs> yeah, he goes. I don't know. Look it up. You can look up how to make bathrooms. <laughs> then they go. Uh, the uh, the Batesville Casket Company is located in Batesville, Indiana. My, uh, 
Batesville. Uh, uncle where it works for Batesville. What? Yeah. I, I think it's Batesville or uh, what's the other ca- what's another casket company? I don't know. Yeah. The reason I'm telling that my last never died. My so. last name's Bates. Oh. Yeah, thanks. Jay probably wanted to know that. <laughs> well, he's probably wondering why I'm talking about a casket company and I was Batesville I think Indiana. everybody is. No, I definitely was wondering yeah. why that was on the list. It's a Batesville <laughs> podcast. Yeah, but the Batesville podcast is off made it fun of this show. I don't think anybody was at home going. <laughs> no one except maybe Jay, who I bet probably didn't know that. He didn't know. I don't think I didn't know that. I don't think I wanted to know that. <laughs> I don't even know what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk matter. about some famous people from Indiana. Yeah. Let's start recording. <laughs> <laughs> Larry Bird. Who's yeah. that? Some French Lick. The Hick from French, French Lick. Lick. French Lick. I mean, Lick. French Lick was that like. Fr- look, there's some. There's some. Look up French Lick, uh, like attractions, or like there's some like monastery or some. Uh, What's, oh, yeah. that? What's this thing? Amenities? French Link? <laughs> this is a hotel. Yeah, look at this thing. Oh, they have a great... I think, uh, I think I've think i heard it. It's a big golf course there. Is that this one? Yeah. Get the French Lick... What is that? Yeah, look at this place. Oh, my bad. Oh, wow. French Lick Resort? Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. And uh, the, and, yes. And the rest of the town is... There's nothing. Just Larry Bird statues. <laughs> just, yeah, it's just Larry Bird. Is there a statue of him there? Number three. There's probably. a hundred of them. Yeah, every other street's Larry Bird Avenue. They talk about Larry Bird every day. I remember uh, <laughs> doing the Larry Bird. Someone said, uh, uh, I can't, I'm blanking on his name. He's a comedian. But he talked about when he watched the Larry Bird, like 30 for 30 or something, him getting hurt. Yeah, look at this thing. Look at that yeah, thing. It's an enormous. Yeah, you, so they that's a big popular, I've looked at it, like, because there's a- West Why Bay is it and, there? That's, a, that's my whole question. Like, yeah. why is it there? It's a big golf course, and I think it's just like they do a lot of conventions and stuff there uh, is what I understand. I've looked at it because of the golf. I think it's a really good golf. So, But he said something about when Larry Bird, because Larry Bird hurt his back, like carrying like semen or something. Like He was like doing his own driveway, and uh, and like he was picking it up, and it got too heavy. And it's so funny to be like, me, he's a mil- I mean, he's a millionaire at that point. You're like, just hire some Larry. <laughs> We need you're the greatest ever, and like he just shows up. He's like, my back hurts. You're like, cause you picked up, cause you redid your driveway, dude. Like, and the guy, he was like saying, like, if I could go back in time and do anything, I would gr- just pick up that cement bag for Larry that day. Like that's the guy, cause he's from Boston, yeah. so he was like, that's all he would do. He could go stop anything in the world. He's like, I would just go show up in Larry's driveway that day. If he had, if he had a time machine, that's, time that, machine. that's where he's going. That's where he's going. Nothing Not to do with Hitler. Hitler. Larry, nothing to do with Hitler. Nothing to do with Larry, 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 I got it. I got it. I got it. He's that guy. He just picks it up and he carries it. Take a seat, Larry. I got this yeah, for you. I got this, buddy. Don't worry about, don't worry about a thing. Have you ever met Larry Bird? I don't think so. Y'all don't have like Indiana meetings or something? <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, no. We need them, obviously. Yeah. I mean, maybe after y'all this, get together, this, this podcast. This might, could get started and y'all start about Indiana this could, stuff. This definitely could spark it. What would y'all do? Where would y'all do the meeting? At? I mean, I think right here. In the wood. I mean, oh, yeah. I think yeah. you got to do it at the I guess you got to have a convention. Yeah. I resort. Mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. I want to go to this place now. Yeah. I mean, it's a, a amazing. Y'all have a roller coaster. <laughs> what was the park you said earlier? Holiday World. Okay. The, the and splash and splash and safari. And splash and safari. It's actually yeah. it actually is legit. Yeah, it's like yeah, awesome. It's cool. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. I said it had the two lar- longest water slides in the world. Oh yeah, that's fun. The mammoth and something else. I forgot. Yeah, you you done them both, haven't you? Yeah, we had uh, season passes, so like <laughs> we would just like ride our bikes up there. Yeah. Oh yeah, and just get to go and just all go. day long. Yeah, just. I know those days. They were the best. You can, yeah, Why unlimited you coke. You on a highway? You know that? Huh? Was it on a major highway? Sorry. There was no major highways. Yeah. Where is this park at? Just in someone's backyard? It's, <laughs> it's literally a big it's, park. It's dude. literally right next to Christmas Lake Village. Oh, so like, it's like kind of down. No, like there's no highway. Like it's, just this, is, this is a two lane road. Yeah, like the, this place and is young. A, Jay and his friends are on their bicycles in the middle of the road and just swing yeah. off in there. I mean, if, if he can figure out the map thing, we might have a the, job. The days. It's so funny <laughs> we, to think about the days of like your parents could send you to a theme park. Yeah, and just go and you go. How are we there? We're gonna ride a bike on a road. Yeah, and we'll be back maybe fifteen hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was okay. Here, give us the uh, oh. the satellite. Everyone, yeah. No one, no one, no one even knows what this thing is anymore. Wildebeest and Mammoth were the two world's two longest water coasters. It's the world's first theme park. Oh, the world's first theme park, according to them. Oh, oh, according to them. <laughs> yeah, I googled it and yeah, yeah. some different answers there. There's some debates. 
But the guy started it because he went to Santa Claus, Indiana, and there was nothing Santa Claus like fun. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. if you follow my cursor here, like this is the exit out of Christmas Lake Village. Like you yeah. just drive up here, or we would go. Actually, we would kind of cut through the woods back in here and hit this like country road and just ride our bikes, and then uh, you just go. Actually, you go down here and then just you you just ride in there. Yeah. And then you're in Holiday World. Yeah. You go through with your little pass. Like this is all this is a parking lot. Oh, all that's this cool. all this is a parking lot. Yeah. So you just park your bike right here at the ticket thing, show I mean, them your season pass, and you're how fun is that? You're five minutes from a roller coaster. What a fun childhood. Yeah. Unlimited Coke at Holiday World. I remember really? that. You get a cup and there's just drink dispensers all over the place. Super healthy. God, yeah. Gosh, that seems like my kind of time. They yeah. still do that? Oh, yeah. They did. Oh, yeah. I love it. I'll go there. Yep. Just sweet. Passing out sugar. I mean, like, it's, oh, it's, it's free. Drink Diet Coke, Jay. We're not crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Keep it together. It's all good for you. That, I mean, I would, I would just be... <laughs> Yeah. Change it up. Yeah, it was a problem. Probably, dude, now they might have the machines where you get a pick. The, I'm, I'm the sure soda. they do. You Just, drink soda? No. You ever drink soda? Yes. I mean, growing As up. As a kid. So, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Grew out of yeah. it. Grew out of it. Decided. Then, yeah. And now you don't drink it at all? No. It's really good, man. Oh, I, I know how good it is. <laughs> okay. I've, I've, I had it. That's what I understand about eating good is that's yeah. the thing you go, you know what's great? Like, I mean, no, you have yeah. Sour Patch Kids for breakfast? You're like, no. You're like, you know what's really good, though? It's a great time. <laughs> like, yeah, dude, I agree. I think it's yeah. amazing. Like, yeah. yeah. I'm just trying to live. <laughs> that's uh, some more famous people. David Letterman. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where's he from? Uh, grew, was born in Indy. Grew up in Muncie. Okay. Yeah. Went to Ball State. Yeah. Oh, Ball State. Cardinals. Yeah. Yeah. He talked about ball. He always talked about Ball State. He, he was played a, Indiana a lot. He was a weatherman in Indianapolis. Yeah, really. Yeah, he would do like funny stuff on the air. Like he congratulated a tropical storm for being upgraded to a hurricane, and oh, that's just funny. fun stuff yeah. like that. Uh, Sounds super fun. The Jacksons, uh, for all from Gary, from Indiana. Indiana. Gary, Indiana. Yeah, not, not a place you want. Gary's to a fun town. Yeah, yeah. A, lot, a lot of fun things happening up there. <laughs> When we would take this, we would take a train from South Bend to Chicago, and it stops in, in Gary, Michigan City, in oh, Gary, okay. yeah. and you can just kind of feel it when the train stops. You're like, oh, "What happened?" Like a chill goes through you. It's just a, it's, a dark, it's a dark place, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's just someone listening to this in Gary, like in Gary and Anna right now, and you're like, you just they sit know, there like they know better than I do. Haunted? They know what it is. <laughs> chill goes through yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, you just wake I'll up. Tell you. you feel it. You man. just what you're asleep in your car and you just kind of like wake up and go, God, <laughs> something cut the air on or what? You know? Oh, we're in Gary, Indiana. Oh. Okay. That, make, that, makes that makes sense. sense. Uh John Mellencamp. Yeah. Born in Seymour. I can remember when he was John Cougar Mellencamp. Why did he get rid of that? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Did yeah. you ever did you ever know him as John Cougar Mellencamp? Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of people did. Yeah. Oh, okay. Why did he change? Well, I think his real name's John Mellencamp. I think he started calling himself John Cougar because he didn't think Mellencamp was a good rock name. And then he went John Cougar Mellencamp. And then he finally came full circle and just went back to John Mellencamp. I think he just sort of went John Cougar. Yeah. yeah. John Cougar would have been a great name. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever have a nickname in football? No. Cuddy? No. Did you ever yeah. want one? Cuddy? Yeah. Kid Cuddy? Well, Cuddy. Everybody Cuddy. call him Cuddy. Did you ever yeah, see those Cuddy. memes of you with a cigarette and yeah. the. How fun are those? Super fun. Right? Yeah. Yeah, they didn't, are. Just promoting cigarettes. Didn't Aaron Rodgers <laughs> do <laughs> one? Huh. Didn't Aaron Rodgers do one just kind of making fun of that meme? Don't know. I don't know. Oh. But it was very, it's a, the, it was a very funny. But you know what you always think about? That is the most comfortable way. Everybody holds their. <laughs> oh, I think he's just doing a signal. Oh, okay. Like we had that. <laughs> yeah. we, we had that signal too. Huh. I mean, it's either, uh, it's either smoke or probably a drag slam. Yeah. Or I mean, there's no telling what it is. Did uh, I always think holding your pads though very comfortable. That yeah, is. You know, you yeah. always see like cops do yeah. that. They own their bulletproof vests. The yeah. Super yeah. comfortable. It is. Yeah. Unless you had a hand warmer, those are fun, right? I bet those are good. Would you do yeah. a hand warmer? No. Oh, love the good hand warmer. And yeah. and we had hand warmers for when it rained. It had like this wick drying like stuff in it yeah and those are cool i like those did you when you put your feet in those heater things they yeah. really help oh super hot really oh yeah those things are you you get to a point where you, if you sit there long enough like you have to put like a towel down and sit on them oh so they're, they're is hot. it like when you're playing that cold is it the worst or is it i liked it yeah because everything's slow everyone's slow yeah Everything slows down. Like the defensive line slow. I mean, you have to just keep your hands so warm. Like uh, you just don't feel it really. You just kind of get out there. Would you wear? You ever go short sleeve? No, I'm not an idiot. Yeah, 
But the lineman would, right? Wasn't that yeah, like a point some, of pride? Yeah, yeah. some do. Um, no, I didn't. I was like, I need to be. I, I went to a point where I bought. Um, Wear a coat? You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 just went out there with a parka. Yeah. <laughs> like, just paint, yeah. paint my number Jay, on this, guys. Jay bul- bulking up a little bit. You know I mean? <laughs> got just a big starter jacket underneath it. <laughs> you just out there throwing. <laughs> we bought, we bought um, like three-quarter sleeve uh, wetsuits. Oh, wow. Yeah. Tops. Oh, that's pretty smart. And wore the... Uh, Tom Brady, I think, was probably one of the first ones that, that did it. And then I heard about it and we bought some. And it, they... Uh, from a company from California. And... Uh, yeah. Yeah. The s- and scuba it, gear, basically. Yeah. yeah. And it was... It was all, it, it was awesome. Like, you... You feel fine. You feel fine. And you can throw them and everything. You had to, you had to make sure that it wasn't too thick. Like, yeah. the millimeters and stuff wasn't too thick. But it... it, it they work great. That's pretty smart. Yeah. Right. Tom, smart guy. Uh, Jim Gaffigan. Oh, yeah. Report in Indiana. Mm-hmm. Played uh, football at Purdue. Then didn't transferred to Georgetown and played there. Didn't know, oh. didn't know that. I didn't know they had a football team in yeah. Georgetown. I did not know that either. Core to this. Uh, 25% of the U.S.'s popcorn comes from Indiana. Whoa. Did you, you know? there be more. Did you know? I just figured this out because uh, my farm in Kentucky were doing it. There's a certain corn that you plant that actually is popcorn. Oh, really? Yeah. There's popcorn corn. Yeah. And then there's just regular like corn on the cob, and then there's different. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. that. I thought you it was just regular. one out there. Apparently. Yeah. Because I we we were, we had corn, and we lease it out, and I was like, they're like, it's popcorn. I was like, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, well, this is specifically for popcorn. I was like, wow. really? Like, what's what? Why can't they just use regular corn? Like, no, yeah. like this is popcorn. This is popcorn. <laughs> I was like, okay, we got popcorn, and it pops. I guess it's like pop more popable. Yeah. You put it in a bag, and it just pops, and shove it in the yeah bag, and then you go microwave it. Microwave, it, yeah. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> someone you go to their house and they're like, "You want to get some popcorn?" He's like, "Yeah." You go walk out in this field. You're like, "I don't know if I want it anymore, dude." <laughs> He's like, "No, nah, we're good. We'll get it." You know, and you're like, "All right." We it do- pops the seed or the corn. I don't understand the question. I don't understand really what's happening. So, <laughs> I th- it's I, making corn, but I thought popcorn is. Don't you pop the seed? Yeah, the kern- it's it's kernel. It's making the kernel. Yeah. Yeah. So this, though, so they're planting things to get the kernels. <laughs> how does that even work? We had a long debate about how why popcorn's yellow one time. I so. think they must dry it out. They have to dry that. it out, right? I still it has, haven't it has to come, go through some sort of. Like, do you get woken up at night just hearing pop, 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 <laughs> and you're like, oh, God. Probably during the day when the sun's yeah. out. If yeah. it gets too hot out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I need the growing, cloud cover to growing, come over. <laughs> growing, it's, all, it, it's burnt. Here we go. Growing popcorn. Give it to us. It's easier than you think. <laughs> I mean, it just takes a little extra space in your garden. Oh. They might have lied to me. Like I, I might just have regular corn out there. <laughs> Not all corn pops. Okay. So variety matters. It's a special variety of corn. Take a shot I, at that. I, I'll be honest with you. I'm hoping that they lied to you. Yeah. At this point, I hope that they just said, I just told them it was popcorn. <laughs> what? Let this, let, let this idiot talk about they it. They go, they get, you know, they're like, should you tell them the truth? You go, where is he going to say it? Like, I don't even know. Where, I don't know. Who would hear him say that? Yeah. You could tell everybody. Why would he talk about yeah. this? Why would he, where would he ever talk about this publicly? <laughs> yeah. Uh. You get trapped in an Indiana conversation. That's how you get. That's how you get you but he's get in Kentucky. Up. Is this where you hunt? Yeah. You get there real fast. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quicker than you think. <laughs> Uh, some TV shows set in Indiana. Stranger Things, set yeah, in a fictional yeah, town yeah, of mm-hmm. Hawkins, Indiana. Yeah. Parks and Recreation, set in a fictional town of Pawnee, Indiana. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, set in a fictional town of Dernsville, Indiana. A lot of fictional wow, towns yeah. in Indiana. Why don't they do a real town? I yeah. think because it just represents just middle America in a way. Yeah. yeah. The Middle, set in a fictional town of Orson, oh. Indiana. Oh right. for four. Yeah. yeah. Uh, season one of the Jeff Foxworthy show was set in Bloomington, yeah. Indiana. Yeah, that's then they, really it's a real town. Then yeah. they changed it. It went from ABC to NBC, and they put them in Georgia. Wanted to make oh, it yeah. more southern. Did they yeah, explain yeah. that in the show, or are they just in Georgia? I think they just started the next off, episode. They started dipping and stuff. <laughs> Haley Joel Osment was the son. It. Everybody figured it out. They go. He just. <laughs> it just first scene. He's got. He's yeah. He's popping a can, <laughs> and you go. Oh, let's move this to Georgia. Did they go just have to get scared? They, they never addressed it. They never like really have to say it. They yeah. go, everybody gets it. <laughs> you know, they, uh, Hooch, uh, Damon Wayans, his sitcom, they, his daughter changed. 
in the sick remember was it, not was oh. it Damon Wayans? Uh he had a great sitcom and uh I think it was Damon. The Wayman Brothers? The Wayman Brothers. But yeah, like yeah, the yeah. Damon's Damon had a sitcom on like CBS. Oh, just him? Or something. It was like his family. It was like a family sitcom. And so his, his daughter changed. Uh and they just didn't address it. In the middle of it. She walked downstairs and he goes, God, you look different today. And then they just kept going. <laughs> then, yeah, it was like yeah. very good. Like yeah. it was just like we all address it and then we moved on. Remember, uh yeah, the Fresh Prince, the mom changed in yeah. the middle of the show. Mm-hmm. I don't think they ever addressed it. Never say anything. Yeah, yeah you shouldn't. Yeah, you yeah you're just like, everybody gets, you're like, they get it, dude. They'll figure it out. It's still yeah. the mom. The Miss Pat show was just renewed for season two. Yeah. Miss Pat's real life, hometown in Plainfield, Indiana. Okay. She's from Plainfield? You know that place? Is Miss Pat well, like we the mentioned comedian it earlier. Miss Pat? Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh-huh. Yep. Don't know that one. Uh, the first professional baseball game was played in Fort Wayne, Indiana. There you go. Could you have played any other sport? Mm, maybe baseball. Well, did you play baseball in high school? Aren't you uh, all no. state in basketball too? Uh, in high school, um, I think so. <laughs> so <yeah. laughs> Just all everything. Yeah, I was getting Carlos Girls yeah. autograph, and he yeah. didn't even know if he made all state. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he uh well because you're just like yeah i mean if you're an, i figure if you're an athlete you yeah. can make it to the nfl you could probably play like yeah. all of them could kind of play could lebron play in the nba like i mean the nfl mm, like where i don't think so you don't no. mm. like he's like be a tight end he's enormous though and so yeah. fast i mean it'd be interesting to see what happened yeah um he could figure it out like you guys I, could yeah, all figure it out i think you'd figure it out you know getting hit getting hit is different with that position like yeah you're gonna get hit. You're gonna get smoked, and you're gonna times. get hit like like looking at the ball and like every game. Yeah, um, you know he's one of the most impressive athletes ever to play any sport. Yeah, so athletically he can figure it out. He just has to be willing to get hit. It's a lot to get hit. Yeah, it's not fun. It's not fun, and it's you're getting hit by the strongest person ever. Yeah, you're getting who hit, hit by the some... hardest? Like. Is it just a mix? Do any stand out, or is it just? I mean, they all suck. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's about the same. You yeah. ever get? Did any of them ever? You go like, that was them, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, a lot. I mean, there's sometimes like you get some guys, and it's like, oh, like he he, he took care of me. Instead of just smoking you, they'll kind of like wrap you up. And yeah, kind of just roll you down. You're like, hey, thanks, bud. I appreciate yeah, that. You're like, man. that's when we, when you when he walks away, and we always see you hit the yeah. other guy. You're like, hey, man, I really appreciate. I that. appreciate. That. I bet there is a nice. That's like a class, yeah. a little nice class that he goes like, dude, this dude could have rocked my world. Oh, could have. And he just hammered. went down. I'll yeah. go down too. I'm not going to try to fight you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. let's we're, call it a day. We're all good here. Let's we're go, all good. Let's go, let's go to you the next won. play. Yeah. yeah. What's Did the you most- ever get hit by Brian Erlacher? Or was, um, was he still? I the played, Bears? yeah, we played in Chicago when I was in Denver my oh. third year. So that yeah, when he was in Chicago, when yep. y'all both were on Chicago, he, no. they would never. No, 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 no. You don't ever get hit by your own team. No. In practice. No. <laughs> that's why as a quarterback, you just get to do. Yeah, yeah. Like that's why they're also kind of like they're like, hey, like you. They're kind of like a prima donna. It's like, yeah, hey, you never hit anybody in practice. Yeah. And these guys are out here hitting every single day. Yeah. For the most part. What was now, the, what was the most you've ever been sacked in one game? Uh, I want to say uh, we were in uh, New York, and I think it's ten. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think it's like eight before halftime. Like, yeah. Is it? Do you? It might be a record. Not, do you ever go back record. to the line? You're like, feels like a lot today, guys. <laughs> yeah. I think that game. I was like, hey, bro. I was like, are we just not doing this today? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. We just not like you just don't want to block. We going for the record? Yeah. Are you guys boycotting? Yeah. It, it didn't tell me. What if they go? Yeah. Yeah. I would have stayed home. Yeah. I didn't need to come out for this. Y'all want? To, what do y'all want? Golf carts or something? Yeah. Don't y'all always have to buy weird? Like, yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. What do you? Y'all don't like the scooters that I got? Yeah. I got everybody a scooter, and y'all go tell me right. This is how you tell me yeah. you don't like it. You guys wanted to watch? You wanted to watch? You wanted to watch? Well, this just year. ask for it. Yeah, I'm open to that. I'm, dude, I would love to buy you a watch. <laughs> it's too late now, though, huh, yeah. guys? Yeah. We're already at eight, Jay. You might as well do If you were new, you're at eight sacks. Is is the most? What's well, the most? You're not the most ever, right? No. Would you Maybe ever? Maybe for a half. Would you ever want to be the like if you're like <laughs> what if you're like you find out the most is like 15 sacks and you're like 14 you're like well I might as well do one more 14 just, I wasn't far yeah. yeah oh 14 is the most the Giants allowed so like if you're at 10 that's 1952 I know do you ever want to just go like <laughs> might as you know <laughs> let's go for we're the at, record we're at, we're at 13 you're like let's give them the record let's, let's give like them the record the opposite of what Brett Favre did for Michael Strahan yeah yeah because yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean. I mean so I mean, all fourteen are on the quarterback. You might have a couple in there, but like some of, I mean, most of it's on the something 
someone blocking. It's yeah. their fault, yeah. not yeah. yours. So it's it's a tough thing. Yeah, I remember high school. We we're getting destroyed by this team, and I was a play defensive line, and the offensive line man lined up in front of him. He goes, "Hey, dude, it's not coming over here." So let's just relax. Yeah. I was like, thanks, dude. Yeah. <laughs> we just kind of chilled over there. Yeah. It's probably why we were getting destroyed. Yeah. That, that kind of attitude. But yeah. You're making you're making deals with the with the opposite team. <laughs> yeah. He's like, dude, let's just you want to just chill. You tell play? me, I'll tell you. Yeah. Swear. I'll let you know. Yeah, yeah. You pick your promise, go, dude. Uh, you go back to him and you're like, of course it's coming over here. <laughs> like you're just annoyed with him. Like, and he's like, oh, and you're like, I don't, I don't know. It's like you're talking to like your like your wife won't let you go do something. <laughs> I think I don't. Oh god, you know them they're coming over here this time. Yeah, and then they're like, all right, I'll try to trip him before we get. Uh, <laughs> One of the worst uh, acts of sportsmanship in high school football history happened in Indiana. That's cool, man. Heritage Hills Heritage Hills High School defeated Pike Central ninety to nothing in football. Uh, and that's the worst. That's the story. They don't fight or anything? <laughs> that's not that's not the truth. <laughs> that's his school. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I played in that game. <laughs> yeah. How much is enough is enough, Jay? Come on. We were up 90 to nothing, and they put <laughs> – they were – Wait, you played in that game? Yes. <laughs> he was the team that won 90 to nothing. Yeah. <laughs> the worst sportsman. He made that I made that part up. Okay. Yeah. I was just doing that to see but what he would we, say. Uh, we were up 90 to nothing, and <laughs> I think – I, we had been in the I had been on the bench since halftime, <laughs> and <laughs> this is really bad. Yeah. And they're driving down to score, and they're on like the four yard line or something. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I heard first team defense. <laughs> We're up ninety to nothing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we all go back in. First team defense is back in the game. <laughs> <laughs> and we stop these guys. <laughs> and we get the fourth down and. They're they're trying to kick a field goal and I mean all out block. Yeah, and I, we either blocked it or they missed it and we won ninety. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's so I awful. Mean, that's it's yeah. a mix of like you want to be like yo dude just let us be ninety to zero we're already yeah. at zero and yeah. they're like but just let us score you're like uh, I don't think and so. we're already here yeah. you know what yeah. I mean like if you yeah. scored yeah. like in the third quarter yeah absolutely. Sure. Sure, but we gave you a chance. Yeah, you you had you know four quarters like it, it's the last thirty 90 seconds. Ninety to nothing feels a lot better than seven. Yeah, just take a knee. Yeah. Do you really need that? Y'all shake points? hands afterwards. I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure the coach probably didn't. Yeah. Is that your 2000 season right there? You want another one, seventy nine to nothing? Yeah. Did wow. y'all win the state? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! Y'all did. I mean, there was not there decent was, season. Was, uh, Zionsville. Was That's a the tight championship game. game. Championship yeah. game was a tight one. That's the state championship. But Overtime, other than that, right? it was seventy nine to zero. I mean, you're already a nightmare team. Can you remember specifics this far back in games? I found that sometimes athletes can do that, and it blows my mind. I remember the Boonville game. I remember the Tell City game a little bit. The Wood Memorial game. I, I returned like three punts for touchdowns. Like there, <laughs> you did. Yeah, <laughs> there were guys like literally like we watched them. There were guys like running away from me. Like they yeah. didn't. They were like, oh, <laughs> we don't want to do yeah. this. Uh, Southridge game was on the road. I remember that one because um, that was supposed to be a, a tough game for us. North Posey was supposed to be better than that. We destroyed them. Tecumseh was a walk. Gibson Southern. I mean, yeah, I don't know if we have to go there every morning. Yeah. These sounds like South, native South, towns that you're South, saying. Like, South, you know, <laughs> the South Spencer game. That was a tough one. Yeah. Oh. I, I fumbled twice in that game. That's why. Um, I had a touchdown run called back. Uh, but that was our last what race. What was you doing? You were quarterback and? And uh, safety. Free safety. safety, yeah. And then Washington was on. Washington, I guess Washington was. I think, no, Would Washington you, was on the road. Would you throw a lot? We would throw. Or is it like 20, basically like Jay just run? 20. We started throwing more. 20, 25 times a game. Yeah. Um, Mount Vernon beat us here before. Um, we won that one, obviously. Whiteland was uh, on the road. That was a tough game. Ron Colley was a, a – they were supposed to be the best, one of the best in the state. Um, but oh, we destroyed 27 them. 27 nothing. And then Zionsville, we were up. We were up 14 or 21 nothing at halftime. Ooh. Did not have it, no, and didn't, and they uh, they ended up coming back, and the running back had, I want to say two hundred and something yards. Of, oh, uh, wow. I mean he was. I had like eighteen or twenty tackles. The other safety had like eighteen or twenty tackles. Like we couldn't stop this. Team. Yeah, and they came back, and um, I threw a couple of picks that game. Didn't play very well, and they it was twenty four to twenty. No, that's not right. 
it was what 21 21 and they got the ball and drove down to the 20 yard line 25 yard line like three seconds on the clock and a freshman kicker uh. Miss their missed the oh. kick, missed the kick to win the state championship. Wow! Oh. Went to overtime. They had the ball first. They kicked the field goal, and then uh, we ran one play for from the ten. I guess it was was the rule then. No yards, and then we put four dudes out to the right, <laughs> and I think there was one backside, and through like a lateral to the right. I stepped back. The whole offensive line started going that way, and it was like, they threw it back. To throw you. back to me, and we ran in, walked in, and yeah, game over. Wow, that's awesome. that's that was a, your senior year. Yeah, yeah. Wow. and you know, like it's just like a fun. Is that just like you think back? Is that like your funnest? Yeah, memories? like yeah. I mean, I think high school football is like the purest. Like you're just playing with yeah. your friends, your guys, like your best friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's it, it, it doesn't get businessy. No, it doesn't get businessy. At yeah, all. that I get that. Like so, we do comedy when you first. I was thinking about going back to New York when I first started comedy in New York. You're like, there's no, this is not a better time. I wouldn't go, want to go back. Yeah, but it's the it's the best time yeah, ever. Yeah, there's sure. no no one's trying to make it as a career. Yeah. I mean, you're all trying to make it, but you're just like. We're doing it for the out. love of yeah. the yes. thing. It's like we're just asking each other about joke. Like it's yeah, it's special. I compare it to you running that. I have the same thing. Same thing. I used to hand out flyers at <laughs> same, comedy clubs. Same, same kind same. of thing. Yeah. Same, same feel. Yeah, same high. I was yeah, <laughs> big up top, <laughs> chunky at the bottom. Could hand out the flyers real good. Hey, we got a great comedy show tonight. <laughs> uh, all right. Is there anything else? That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Thanks, so. Uh All right. Well. Uh, Anything uncut? Yes, sir. Uncut with Jay Keller. Yep. Uh, great podcast. Just started it. You're doing great. It's going to it's coming together. Hopefully. Yeah, Might all fall apart. We'll see what happens. Yeah, that's if the not, attitude. If not, I think I'm, I can be your your Google guy. You were have you come in here, dude. <laughs> You're coming here and do it. Yes. <laughs> There's only been two people that fist bumped and most don't. Really? Yeah. You'd have to say that, but yeah. I, I enjoyed well, it. Well, he did it. I think it's the, you're the you'll be the best one for him. <laughs> we well, left it there for a minute. I was like, I guess, <laughs> I guess they have to do yeah, it. He I didn't want to, but yeah. he did it. Charity. He's a nice guy. He's like, I don't know, dude. I got that large child up there. I had a fist bump. Him. Uh, <laughs> the guy he goes in there. Uh, all right, thank you guys. Uh, follow Jay on everything: Instagram, Twitter, all this stuff, and uh, listen to this podcast. And uh, we'll see you next week. See you.